1223. Yeah, 1223. Note accessibility settings can be accessed from the main menu. Okay, lovely stuff. Right. Okay, now we're in the game. <laughs> oh man, they're already doing this kind of shit. That's cool. <laughs> So yeah, uh, welcome to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I didn't play the like last one, and it asked me at the start if I played it, so I said no. So hopefully, like, I think this is just a build on on this game that's like I think over five years old now. Um, I think they were saying as well in the description for the game that they added a bunch of stuff. So I'm not gonna know what's the difference because again, this is my first time playing this. So yeah. I don't think there's anything else to say other than, like, I guess let's go. Um, actually, wait, settings. Let me... I'll feel the view. Yeah, we're, we're, we're turning that shit up. Um, we'll leave that alone to her in the game. I don't have a controller. Hold left or, and right mouse buttons for walk. Ooh, okay. I like that. Language English. Subtitles. Subtitle size. Eh, that's grand. Uh, actually, I'll make them large just so like it's easier to see in the stream. Um, background opticity, accessibility, player data, audio. Um, just turn them down to eighty for now. This is the story. Oh, that's where this music is from. I swear I've heard that, like, music being used so many times in different, like, videos or something like that. <laughs> That's kind of gas. V-Sync on, borderless. What, 59 hertz? Bro, we can't, we can't hit the 60 hertz, huh? There we go. Let, let's try to hit the 60 hertz there. Uh, controls. Okay, we won't lead, do anything else with that. Okay, right. I think we're ready to go now. Uh, the end is never the end is never the end is loading. <laughs> never the end. I love the way it's just loading just breaks that, like, uh, continue or thing this is that's the constant. story of a man named Stanley. Stanley, yes. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He yep. sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Oh, Orders wow. came to him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. She's kind of a boring job. He might have considered it so winning. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley... Was there, there is a wire just underneath his chair leading to it, so... And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change The Stanley, Stanley Parable. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Ah, oh, no what a one shame. showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, I need to turn up the, the thing. I know, I'm sorry, I do this with every single game. But I need to adjust it, like. There's no universal setting for games. Right. Oh, wow, I kind of just glide. Am I a ghost? Have I been working too much at this job that I've just turned into a fucking ghost? All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, what door. What mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley oh. looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, I just turned it off. Uh-oh. I didn't do it, I swear.
I wonder if the narrator is going to get annoyed at me for not going straight to the meeting room. Is this it? Don't think it is, but there's a door open over there. Nope. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Wait, it didn't? Did it advance the story in any way? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think Jack Sebler guy actually got like the voice actor for like the narrator's voice actor to voice came over to for a him. Set of oh. Two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Hmm. Oh, fuck, this is some weird psychology shit. I, it's like, I could just go through the left, like he says, or be a rebel and go through the right. But that's what everybody else does, right? Everybody else would go to the right, so I should just go to the left and follow his orders. But I'm following his orders, and I want to rebel against it, and I want to go to the right. But at the same time, that's like, that's like what like I think I would do, but others would do as well. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to be like everyone else, I'm going to go there. Ah, fine. I'll go left. Okay, I can't change it now anyway. So wait, we're still meant to be going to an office, right? Is this it? Or a meeting room, should I say? Oh, is this it? Yep, this is it. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a co-worker. Let it ball up inside you, take it out passive aggressive. Hey, I wasn't done reading that! Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw... Okay, which one of you are fucking with me? Where's even the computer for this? Who has the clicker? Number of slides on the slides. Charts, um, green, charts and slides, orange, and then slides, blue. So that's just individually, yeah. Right at which charts on the same slide depict the same information. <laughs> okay, I get it. We're, get, we're getting all meta in, in here now. Rate of increase in graphs per slide. Please, no more charts begging. The Boss Appreciation Minute. On your Boss Appreciation Minute worksheet, circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Fill out in triplicate and return to thing. Solving uh, interpersonal conflict. I think that's the one I saw when I entered, wasn't it? What are your dreams for the future? Talk radio. Tra <laughs> transcend. Yes, I would love to transcend reality. Metamorphosis. I can't jump. I was going to try and jump on and see if I could interact with things. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work and don't get fired. Promotion. So just don't just do the same shit. Resent co-workers for not supporting you more. Okay, that's the only thing I wanted to see from that. Oh, I can open this. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Can I do it again? No, okay, it won't, like, trigger it again. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Maybe there's something... Why is that red? Yeah, you know, maybe maybe I will go to the boss's office. Actually, I, I I I don't need to play a horror game right now. It's not that I'm scared. It's just like I just want to, you know, follow the game. Oh, okay. Oh, this fucking piece of soundtrack too. Oh, thank you, uh, Kazuto, for raiding me with two people. Oh man, I've been waiting to see that fucking gif above my head for so long as well. Thanks for the follow as well, man. But, um, yeah, no, I just had Anya there for ages. I've just started playing this game randomly today. And, like, it's my first time playing it, so. Very good so far. <laughs> Executive bathroom. Why is this place... Bro, like, I, now I know why you don't ask for a promotion. The boss is fucking siphoning all the money for himself and making his, like, space look the best, like. Oh, I can actually go in here. Oh, it's actually nice. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Extreme, extreme bathrooms. Sounds like I'm typing something when I just hold E. 
Maybe that's just the whole point. It's just the sound of me interacting. Or I can't interact with something. But then again, all this fella hears in his head is literally like... Uh, the typing of his keyboard for how much he's done it. I find I won't go through the t that door. I'll go through this door. Bro, this fella has a fireplace! Danny was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known oh, was that the keypad behind rip. the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Incredibly, <laughs> by simply pushing red Not by pushing red the buttons. Stanley oh. happened to input the correct code oh, shit. by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Uh okay, never mind. I I lied. It's not a fucking <laughs> it's not a chimney. It's a fake chimney. I mean, uh, you could have, should have expected that though, because like this is meant to be an office building. Like how, uh, you know, I'm I'm questioning this way too much. The fuck? Okay, now we're turning into a horror game. Oh god, I can't see. Hold on, I need to pull the blind down a bit. Oh, it's so dark. Actually, you know what? Fine, I'll, I'll just turn it off. Because I know they say you should have thing at thing, but... Oh, I can't change it, can I? Ah, oh, shit. No, I can't change it. It was only at the start of the game that I could change it. Um... Yeah, no, I can't change it. Rip. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to keep this dark, like, for the whole thing. Oh yeah, there's a button that says go down. Let's go. Oh, at least we have light now. And we're in like a 1970s kind of elevator. I'm only saying 1970s. <laughs> loading, 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 loading. But I'm only saying 1970s because I was playing Portal recently. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Uh, who wanted in this scenario? In his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? When for years it had never occurred to him, this question would not go unanswered for long. We're we'll not go. Wait, what do you mean not for long? We can just go back up. Now, nah, okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Well, actually, what if I do? Will the narrator get pissed at me Oops. if I go back? Nope. Uh, never mind. Nah. <laughs> Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss? <laughs> well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Oh, and there's a loading. Okay, I'll just go straight back down. I don't think there's going to be anything. Okay, yeah, that's not going to take long, is it? Thank God. The narrator's not going to say anything else, is he? Yeah, no, I think it's Here just... Here we are, like... Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that key <laughs> storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising well, I can touch something narrative. Here. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. What is that? Wait, there's something I can interact with on the desk. I see my cursor come up. What is it? Oh, bag. It's not making a sound when I hover above it. Huh. Alright, sorry. I'm going to go back. Just give me a sec. Come on, let me play with the piano at least. Okay, yeah, I can't go through there either. Right, okay. I'll, I'll stop fucking around. Incredible. <laughs> getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Honestly, I don't know. I'm kind of just a genius in disguise. I keep telling everybody I have two brain cells and really have more. This time, Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? 
Oh, it's not that spooky anymore. It's kind of brighter. Than Stanley was. walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I mean, I could just escape. Fuck, I hate, I hate the fucking psychology of this shit. It's like, I could just do what he doesn't say, but I also could just do what he says. And then it's thinking like, okay, what would others pick? And it's just like, Joe, it's probably 50-50. Okay, I'm curious about the job description. Oh my god, this is reminding me of like the incredible scene where like there's a big massive screen and it's just showing you all the different like robots that are gonna destroy like the town. Huh. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Television screens? What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength well. to find out? No, not really. I, I, I'm going back. Never mind. I don't think I can go back. It's closed, isn't it? Yeah, it's closed. Okay. The fuck is happening? We okay? So, for years we've been just typing and doing what we were told, not asking promotion or anything, and now like nobody's here, and we're in a mind control facility. Now, okay, so there's cameras. Life, their true nature revealed. Oh. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Oh shit! I and his co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom... And 400 and something. What was my number? It was like 427, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, that's my office. This one right ahead here is my office. And there's nothing there, though, obviously. because I, I thought for a second... Oh, that one's glitched up there. 33, so it's 34 that's glitched. Oh, number 601 was fired. Sexo win one, two, three, four. The fuck? This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Oh, that somebody was just fired. Had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe yeah. it. He couldn't accept it. He His couldn't accept it. In someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Probably, yes. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy. Or sad, Offline. or content, walking, oh. eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Zero, one, and as four, the cold two, reality two, of his one. past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Can I step down here? I'm so confused, bro. What what is happening? Okay, I guess nothing here. Kind of just ominous that this is down here. Is there anywhere else I can go? Oh wait, there's big buttons, Joe, that glow. Let's press them. Diddle in, diddle in. Okay, there's a big one and two. Can I press any other buttons? <laughs> just if I could press all the buttons, see what happens. Like, oh wait, there's one button up here. What does that say? My controls idle, awaiting input. Then we got five as well. Oh, and there's a nerve. So wait, that's five. That's three. One, two, three. And there's a thing behind me. Oh, wait, there's also this. Bro, just let me press the big button. Big red button never did anybody any harm. Swear down. So wait, is it, where's four? Oh, up there, isn't it? <laughs> it's just like the one place I haven't been yet. Up the stairs. I just can't even see it because it's so dark. 
Oh, but I can't go up there yet. Okay. Fine. You know what? We'll just, we'll just go straight across to here and just see what happens. Oh, if I remember that password. No, nah, I don't think that would have worked. It's probably 142. Actually, hmm. No, but I don't have four, so I can't do it. I can't try it. Okay, it's not closing on me. Oh, no, this is the room I was talking about in The Incredibles. <laughs> Damn, I'd imagine. Source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible, horrible place, place and to everything it stood for. It's <laughs> just like, hmm, do I push the button on? Okay, we'll do what he says for now. Oh, jeez. Okay, I guess I won't be able to see anything, though. If the credits start rolling, I swear. It's just like, bro. Oh. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Probably not. Oh. Yes. Loading. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Okay. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Oh, so I'm not even going to find that out. Freed from the machine's grasp. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking. Oh, Jesus, that's, that's actually fucking bright when you see nothing but darkness. Not to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed. Oh, I can't go back. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. I should, sure, Jesus, you got the blade and cobblestone walls there now, like, blade and hell, like. Oh, okay. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant, meant to, to be or happen. Uh, Joe, Stanley read what it says. Was happy. What do you mean, Stanley was happy? Like, sure, I'm free, but where the fuck is everyone else? Okay, I guess. Beat the game. Get your first achievement. <laughs> Yeah, that is. Oh, wait. There it is. It says, the end is never the end. It's never the end. The end is loading. Huh. Oh, so they just throw me back in. Okay, so this time I'm not going to do anything of what he says. Except this part, because I need to. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, what numbers at the end was it? Fuck, it was 601 and 300 and something. Hold on. Let me make sure. Yeah, this is the 400s. I'm pretty sure there's like room 300 and something that was just fired or something. But then how do you fire someone when they're not even like here? Huh, and there's a secret in there as well. Okay, this is going to take a lot more. Because honestly, I could just stop and be like, well, that's when it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> perfectly Perhaps well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. You know, actually, this is what I should have been doing. I should have been opening, like, every single door. Like, look through there. Like, if you open this door, you can get through that door to 4B9. Instead of 4 8 9 They mightn't be too interesting, but... Uh, oh, yes, this is nice, actually. A room worth admiring. It had really been worth the oh, detour I can't after open. all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley actually is, though. stood here, drinking it all in. You know, yeah, I'll follow you on that one. I, I want to... I want to I wanna drink. Never mind, it won't give me a drink. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. 
A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously <laughs> vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Actually, I'll wait for an extra little second. I wonder if he's gonna like, cause like at this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on <laughs> and reflected poorly on his overall personality. What the fuck it's do you know about me? That this is why everyone left. I hear everyone wouldn't leave if just because I love the lounge. Like after working years pressing the same fucking buttons over and over, Stanley like Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more. He decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> okay, fine. I get it. I'll go. I'll go. Oh, it's doing that psychology thing on me again. It's not reverse psychology. It's kind of my, not really. Because if it's reverse, somebody would be telling you this, that, and the other. But yeah. I just realized the other name is like just grayed out for some reason. Underneath uh, Kazuto's raid. And his follow. Right, um, oh yeah, and if the follower stays as well, I need to check what the next follower goal is. I need to remember to do that. I think the next one's literally just, oh yeah, it's fucking uh, dog or cat ears. And if uh, Kazuto isn't here for it, I'm going to just have to ask someone else for it. Because it's not fair, like, brushing off the goal and leaving it for later. Of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Hmm, actually, I, I, I won't. I won't take... That's a weird shortcut. Is that going to close? Stanley was so bad <laughs> at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Hey, do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. No, I love Big Joe. Joe, shush. Shush. Do not finish that sentence. <laughs> do not finish that sentence. that close as well I can't jump do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion will cause death penalty for misuse of cargo lift a thousand quid penalty for jumping off the cargo lift five thousand okay I need a card for that if he'll ever let me get one look Stanley I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here can I just jump I'm off Really, I'm not. I really, but in his eagerness <laughs> to that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and, and plunged to his death. death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Thanks, narrator. Oh, it's gonna fuck. It's gonna put me all the way back here. All At least I know now. I don't have the gone. way. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait. Okay, and I can turn this computer off, can't I? No matter I? how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trick. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story. That computer's on. There's all these, like, different doors that are Stanley open as well. Stanley clicked on oh. literally every single door in the office, because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. Input received. What does that mean? Is that, is that going to do something later? Bro, there's so much to do. Bro, look at me being a good Samaritan. Just turning everybody's computers off for them. Okay. Wait. What if that's a bar to tell me if it's weak or not? If I keep typing... Okay, never mind. It, it didn't work at all. I can't remember which doors I opened to close, so. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew. Okay, I definitely the tried to open these Perhaps doors already. He wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business. Yeah, I just I love the way it just keeps cutting out. Okay, I'll go that way at some point. Right now I'm gonna go this way and go across so the way. Bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Did I get fined five thousand for jumping off? 
I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust oh. in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince <laughs> you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Danger everywhere. Right, go on. What, what's the beautiful thing you want to show me? Oh, this is a B room. Or like, uh, you know, it's not an actual full number. It's like two different numbers and a letter. Oh, unless that other door was the one I was meant to go through. When he said, here, let me show you. Now listen carefully. Oh this my god. Important. Stanley walked through the red door. I mean, I like pissing him off, so I'm just going to keep going to be this Perhaps you misunderstood. Oh, uh, Stanley walked through the red door. No. Don't take away my freedom of choice. I still don't think we're communicating. Oh wow. Stanley walked through the red <laughs> The blue door's door. back here. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Yes. Oh, no. Wait. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. <laughs> Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not yes. think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because <coughs> this is oh, me. to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? <laughs> with me, you've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead. The ceiling light. Before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. You know what? Fine. Yeah, go on. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Why am I getting weird okay, portal vibes? I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Imagine if they used this before building the deluxe edition. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from except that I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park. Oh my god, is it just... Let's take a look. Is there just going to be like... There's probably just going to be three, isn't there? Part of a worldwide leaderboard. Uh... Oh, these are like actual people, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, no, these are actual profile pictures of the looks of it. Oh, wow. Skip the intro sequence. Only 3% of players chose blue door. 98% of players are more attractive than Stanley. <laughs> oh, this is you. Yeah, it's fake. Never mind. Maybe there was an actual profile picture still. So, so wait, what? Does he want me to just go through the left or this again? Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again... Honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. <laughs> and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. <laughs> and Litty loads it. The baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation it's just the PNG of, of it. endlessly just the... confronting the demands of family life. 
I think the art world will really take notice. <laughs> but of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So <laughs> about four why don't hours. You give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Is is this seriously it? Are we literally just gonna sit here for four hours listening to a baby cry as I stop it from fucking crawling towards the fire? Like, how loud does this button have to be as well? Why is it so loud? Fuck it. No, look, I know what this game is like. If you do sit here for four hours and do this, there probably would be different dialogue, but I'm not standing here. Sorry, baby. You heartless bastard. <laughs> do you do it because you hate babies or purely to yes. spite me? Absolutely hate them. Matter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Oh. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Are you actually going to boot up another one of my games or something? <laughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Oh, never mind. Is it just gonna load like thing? It'd be so funny if it just closes my game and opens something like Portal. <laughs> oh, th this is fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? <laughs> What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Bruh. Yes, that must be it. He's accusing me of being a creep now. Experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Oh, that's the fucking Minecraft door noise. So wait, that's the Minecraft door noise, but I think we're in a game called Firewatch. I haven't even played this game either, but that's the Firewatch logo. <laughs> All I remember is, like, I, d I refuse to play the game just because, like, the developer, like, copyright struck, like, PewDiePie's video at the time for, uh... Let's just say he didn't say a nice word when he was crossing a bridge. And, yeah, I don't know. I just saw it as stupid where it's, like, you're going to fucking copyright strike this one guy for one thing he said... When there's probably multitudes of people that are even worse that are also playing your game too and uploading it to YouTube. I don't know. I just thought, like, yeah. I don't know. But wait, if me, if I talk about out about him like this or them, the developers, will they, like, fucking ban me from this game? Because technically this is their game in Stanley Parable. Is there any other game in the Stanley Parable? Man, it's fucking different as well. Like, different art style and all. Wow, okay, so I won't be able to just drop down here. God, this watchtower is reminding me of, like, the Siren Head game I played, like, a year or two ago. No, 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 it can't be. Oh, yeah, wait, I just realized I'm outside now. This is lovely. Oh, my God, there's multiple options. Can I go this way? How would, okay, wait, he said, like, we were giving me three options, but now I don't know if I really want three options. Ah, screw it, we'll go this way. See what it does. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly, block it off. <laughs> Thank goodness, Stanley, what a close call. You really wandered off into that, that thing. That big, open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go... Oh, he covered any... the whole thing. Oh, 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 thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. No, Probably wait. Probably something with walls. Something with nice... Oh, I get it, so... Walls. It's a game in a game, but this is just like a section of the game they put into Stanley's game so that it could just block off like this. They just put me onto a Telltale game next. <laughs> She's like, now we're in Rocket League! See, this is exactly what I had in mind. It's literally Rocket League! big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. 
If you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Are you fucking kidding? I'm not even in a car, like. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Is this Damn sports ball? I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. It's going to be in the middle, isn't it? Oh, I think they sped me. he sped me up as well. Wait, did they, like, copy and paste the fucking, like, thing game here? Because I feel like I'm going as fast as the thing cares now. Oh, my God. This is so weird. How did they get, like, these guys' permission to make this? Oh. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it oh, better no. than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Okay, that's Stanley, an endless pair. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sport. Uh, no, 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 I'm good. I don't need multiple. Here comes another ball. I'll just tell. Yes. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I don't know if I should go down. To have more. I'm insatiable. More balls. Should, should I just go down the hole? Do I risk, like, resetting all my progress? Hold on. What are you doing? Oh, never mind. We're good, I think. Oh, shit. Oh. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write Beta. a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Well, it's not my fault I dropped through the goal. Is this the edge? Oh, it's the edge. Oh. What fucking game are we in now? Is this like the same game but thing? Why do I get a weird creep factor from this one? And why are there multiple games in the Stanley Parable? Fucking hell, man. This has actually tripped me up more than I thought it would. Okay. That's nothing. I feel like I'm going to get jump scared in a second. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, low-key, just because I heard the Minecraft door noise, I legit thought we were going to get, like, be teleported to Minecraft or something. Like, what the fuck? How does this work? Oh. Oh, we have a light. Oh, can I get it? Eh. Four foot two thing. Okay, lovely. Oh, never mind. It's just, it was one single light bulb. Oh, but we're in somewhere. And it nothing does anything. Lovely. I feel like I've done a lot. Is this like, is this like a place in between multiverses or something? Oh. Don't you fucking dare I jump scare me. Found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end. To make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Ah. Uh, I want to hold forward and hope something happens. Oh, never mind. Okay, something happened. Oh, that's it! What? Okay, that was a lot more fun. All of his co-workers were gone. Bruh. What did it mean? 
But I still I don't know where, the like, where did everybody go? I hate Mondays. I already tried opening all the doors before and it did nothing. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art, art. but eager to get back <laughs> to business, eager to get back Stanley to took business. the first open door on his left. Will that just loop me back round, though? Begin the game again. Okay, so if... Okay, let me see and this so one. He detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Uh, Mr. Computer Man, I'm going down this way. We're not Computer Man, the right man. To go back to the oh, it does. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, 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 from here, it's, um... Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Oh, he's gonna fuck with me, isn't he? No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. And there's no other way I can go. Okay, lovely. Why do I feel like if I stood too much in front of this, it would just run me over? Oh, we're back here again. It was 234, Joe. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to <laughs> yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, closing. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. 104. It's all rubbish now. The whole story is unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. <laughs> this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh my god, the, f the way this game was All crafted is good. It's good. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh my god, man. Th this is messing with me too much. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. That's different. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley... Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> it was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Oh, my God. Let's find the story. Well, I can't go that way. Because I legit can't jump. Ah... Uh... Oh my god, there's so many ways now. Uh, I'm gonna go through this door. Oh. So I can go down there. Oh wow, there's so many doors. Why are they... Oh my god, it's a maze. So it didn't matter which way I went. Like, it would have just I'll led back it. to things. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. No, 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 wait. No! Bruh! He... Oh, my God. I was onto something. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I wonder if they got him to rewrite these lines. Simply missed a memo. Or not rewrite. I, I wonder if they got them to like reread these. Uh, that, oh, there's no doors now. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? All uh, right. right. 
Wait, actually. This one in particular doesn't want me to open it. Oh, there's a cup here. Okay, that's different. There's a thing open in there. How, wait, has it picked up on that I like I usually would Oh, I what the knew fuck? We'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Oh my god, is this just a loop? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh my god, man. At least I could like one hand play this and like blow my nose. Uh, okay. Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't I think so either. I recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Yes. Mm. Do you remember, Stanley? Would you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Hey! <laughs> Congratulations! Let's go! I know you put in a lot of hard work. And it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. I did. Some people win fair and square. And this was not one of those situations. Okay. I messed with I you so much. I out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow oh. the line. How simple is that? Wait, we can go this way now. Oh, I'm so tempted to fuck around, though, and go this way. Okay, the coffee cup is still over. I'm not going to go through this door. Okay, so that is still empty. Okay, I won't bother with this, then. Like, I know I could disobey him, but I actually want to go through this, because this is different. Oh, can I turn that off? Someone's playing solitaire. Can I play? Never mind. So wait, all the office doors don't actually lead to offices, do they? Unless this one does lead to an office. Because this could literally just be a door that looks like it's an office door, but leads straight into here from the hallway. What the fuck is happening now? You see, the line knows where the story is. This. We're in this direction. Onward, Stanley. To B7. Destiny. B8. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by oh, the there's the 4A. Forward, uh, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? No, that's all right, okay, Tola. Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, okay, we narrator. We agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. It did, well, yeah. I'd like to apologize. <laughs> Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> Oh, never mind, okay. It's not that song. Oh, this just loops back around here, okay. Lovely. This is insane. And yeah, you actually missed that, like, somebody raided me just there. In the raid thing. God, the music is kind of loud. <laughs> Why is it hopping on the wall for? Why is it doing some wall running, like? Oh, we're at zero twelve now. What the fuck? Who counts office 
doors from, like, top to bottom. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Oh my god, no wonder he's playing this music. Huh. Okay, I guess I'm... <laughs> just like... I'm so confused. Zero, zero, six. Okay, now we're back to 38. Now we're zero B5. B4. Oh my god. Bro. Oh, it's a Payday 2 mask! That's a cool little Easter egg. Bro, so we have fucking Payday 2, Firewatch, and fucking Rocket League all in this one game. Like, what? Annual reviews, monthly ledgers, corporate... Oh, I can't go back. Imbalances. Consolidation reports. Depart departmental accounts. Uh, financial records, personal files, or personnel files. Budget analysis. Oh, wait. Oh, what the fuck? That oh, that's tripping me. Wait. What the fuck? How did they do that? Whoa, uh, uh, what? Okay, so we have three ways to go. We have this way, this way, and this way. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. I guess I'll go this way. Employee 432 peer reviews. That's me, isn't it? I think that's me. Financial record. Oh, wait, we're back. Oh my god, it's the same one. Second one. Okay, you know, wait. So, I went through... It's... Wait, it's gone. What the f... Wait, it's gone. <laughs> it's... Uh, I can't even go back through it. What? How did they do that? Bro, that's tripped me up more than it has to. I don't know why it tripped me up so much. Okay, I guess that's gone. I guess we have only one option now. Wait. Cut the music. Oh, thank Go you. Back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Wait, what do you mean? Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. What, is this a fern from fucking Firewatch or something like? Let's analyze this. Okay, I'm done analyzing. I'm not. I'm not waiting here all day. I already. It, he already told me to wait four hours for that one game he made. I'm not doing stuff like that. I'm just gonna keep going. Like, oh my god. Thank God the music stopped. Watch it play now, just because I said that. Wait, but we're back at the office. No. Oh, no, we are. Yeah. Line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? <laughs> is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, so that's why there is the doors open on the other side. So this part of the story could take place, where the lion's just leading me all over the place. Well, these are new. I haven't tried to open these yet. Oh, my God. Oh, bro. <laughs> it's just leading me back here again. No, oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore. 104. Really restart. <laughs> he's, just, he's just restart the game again. I guess we're not following the line this time. Oh, I'm 427. That's it. Not 434 or something, whatever the other number you was. Know what, Stanley? I say forget the <laughs> line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Yes. Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting. Wait, you're the one that's telling me you're telling me a story, though. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? I mean, nothing else is open to me. I guess we'll go this way. Now, yes. 
This is exciting. Just yes, plain walls. Boring. Path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. Oh my what God, it's looping me, isn't it? Be. Go wild. Use your <laughs> it's looping me. Whatever it might be, Stanley. Oh, I'm wait. ready for it. Oh, never mind. It's wait. If I go back this way, that's so weird. How does that work? That's the second time it's well, not second time. One of the many times it's done a like big thingy with Bob on me. That's so weird. This game's a lot oh, more enjoyable no, than I thought it was. Oh again. no, Stanley. That's <laughs> <I laughs> veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. <laughs> don't acknowledge it. Trademarked. I mean, to be fair, the line is probably just going to lead me back to that monitor room again, so I probably should I say I shouldn't follow it, but I'm basically following it right now, because, well, oh. Uh, sorry, Mr. Lion, I, I, I can't follow you up there. I can't even jump in this game. Ah, there we go. Ah, a different room. A choice. We get to make a decision. Yes. From here, the story is in our control. Yes. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Fact, yes. I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that some I'm just holding down my two like mouse buttons to just to walk. This is so handy. A reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Are both of them? Okay, no, it's just one. Can I just check out this? Yeah, won't open. Okay, lovely. The confusion ending. You've been playing the confusion ending for 18 minutes. Confusion <laughs> Made in heaven. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending, and we're supposed to restart the game eight eight times. <laughs> That's really how all this goes. It's all determined. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall. <laughs> well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? I love the way both is these doors just lead into here. All of this. Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't. Oh, so this is an exact list of everything we were doing. Do and the time oh. stopped. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um. Whatever it is that made this schedule, how would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. <laughs> I guess now we just wait. You yep. Know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not eh. quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey. So wait, if he, he didn't restart, so the confusion so ending's not happening, right? Because right the timer stopped. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Oh, fucking hell, Jesus. Don't jump scare me like that! What was the point in that? <laughs> That's so unnecessary! Why is the music different? Why do I get a, this, well yeah, this is in the same place. This is, yeah, where's the office space here? Is there a different narrator now? When Stanley came to a set of oh, two doors, the game reset him. On his left. Uh, I should have took a, I should have looked at that list of things to see like what the thing ending was going to be. Because he said like he was complaining how it's, we had to reset eight times, and we didn't even do that much, I don't think. Actually, no, we probably did, actually. I I'm scared now. I'm going to follow his orders. <laughs> but I swear to God, if this just leads me to the ending I already know of. Oh, wow, yeah, Yet straight there here. was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, 
Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. If I go in here and he says something about a broom, I think that means we're looping. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. I didn't even know I could crouch. Okay, so we have to go Coming up, to right? Staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'll go down this time. Last time I was like, nah, I'm not going down here. Well, now I want to go down here. Oh. But Stanley What's that? just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. <laughs> and in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His they have boss to. would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley okay, he's kind of spitting facts. He began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Uh, what? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words <laughs> for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the door. <gasps> I am! I'm floating! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. Oh no, wait. It was so much fun. Oh, that's so cool. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps oh, the I can't float anymore. question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything <laughs> I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about it's how it's describing my thoughts. thoughts he thought. Fucking hell. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. <laughs> now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Look, it's the initial decay, that's all I'm going to say. for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely. Oh, surely, it is Lupin. Just... Oh, no. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up. He thought to himself, I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife. <laughs> he assumes I have a wife. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. God, imagine if I stopped playing this during the first playthrough. I would have never seen all this other shit, like... Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. 
I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone oh, it's, tell me. It's I'm turning real. red. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> Dramatic. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Wait. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her oh, oh, what? work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. <laughs> I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And what? in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. So she just leave me. Time for this. <laughs> so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body, and then she turned and ran. <laughs> Is that it? Is that this ending? Are we actually done now? Have we? Okay. Is this? This isn't another variant, is it? I think now we're back to start of the game again. Holy, bruh! <laughs> I can't, I can't remember if that was all one different side branch to what you could do in this, but if it is, then uh, uh, the game, wow, okay, I have no words for that, that that's just, I, I need, I, I need a moment, just, just let me get some water, I'll be back in a sec. I literally, yeah, that's what I'm just gonna just go just drink my water now. Just <laughs> that time's not even. Wait, why did it ask me? Oh, it asked me for time at the start because of that one achievement, right? Because I think there's like an achievement you can get if you leave the game for five years and then come back to it. Oh my god, fucking hell. Okay, um, nah, fuck it, we're not leaving you here. I still don't know where everyone's gone. I, I refuse to believe in dream theory. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And it is normal, because now we're starting to see these, like, uh, office desks here. Is that different? Wait, was that, was that always spilled and I never, no, wait, no way. We no, we're not still in the same loop. Okay, no, yeah, here's the doors. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You know what, Tola, which door do you want me to go through? I'm fucking done with this. I already went through one and two, so let's see if we can spice up a bit. I give you a choice every so often to, like, see if we can fuck around with the game. Oh, my God. Um, I'm missing something. Wow, yeah, actually, I just realized there's a lot of that shit up there. There's that. Later. Okay, right, yeah. <laughs> only right. Oh, th this could be interesting. If, if we can only choose right for the whole thing, the that'd be interesting. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Oh, yeah, actually, up here he says to go left, doesn't he? I don't know, mind. It. First the lounge. 
Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the but eager to get back there you to go. business. See, now Stanley we have left and forward, so I assume, left. you know, just stick right. We'll, we'll just stay on the right side. Stanley was so bad I don't know why, but chat on screen's updating, but not saying. Oh, okay, wait, this one, I know. I'm going to have to choose this one, because... Okay, here's what I've done, right? Oh, wow, there it goes, into OBS chat. I've already jumped off. Uh, let's just say it was a very quick ending. I jumped onto the platform there. Well, not this one here, but the catwalk. Went through that door, and I think that's how I ended up on the current, like, last path I ended up on. And then there's up there, which I haven't gone yet, so I'll go up here, just for this one. But if I can't make a decision, I'll keep in mind to only go right. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. Yeah, no, I have to go to this platform. The story There's no other choice. About nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten, forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm not. I'm letting not Tola pick for me. me. I'm asking for her. For her? Who's her? I literally don't know, know hers. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. Just let me see for a sec. Her back into your life. She's been waiting. Okay, I'm gonna go this way because it's the only way. Hmm, that's a pretty ominous door. Oh wow, the darkness is consuming me. Oh Jesus. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Oh, if what socket is that? Oh, that's a... Another, we have those sockets in Ireland. Home. No. I can't talk to women! I can't! I'm deathly scared! Help! Hello? Jeez. Okay. okay. Can we stop being so bright? Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... What you're doing. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? I did, no. Did they commit their life to you? Oh, okay. I'm to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. No, fuck you. I'm go. I'm gonna Sorry, cry. But you're in my story now. He did this to me before when I seen the Firewatch place, bro. Fine, I'll go this way. Hello, wife. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named De Stanley. What do you mean, death? I'm alive. Good morning, employee four two seven. Press J on your keyboard. What if I don't? Fine. Uh. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. Oh, could I wait? Could I have unplugged the fucking phone? I never thought I could. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. of the inconsequential nature. If we get background to that somehow, then maybe I'll do that. Please press Z. Look at him there, pushing buttons. Oh my, bro, he's making me do my job at home now. Now he's pushing a button. Now. He's eating lunch. Now, he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. <sighs> but in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Press O to watch TV. And so he began to oh. fantasize about oh, okay, his Okay, I guess job. not. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his neighbors, <laughs> his boss, everyone in the, the building, building had suddenly vanished. vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. K to spend time with the boys. Oh, with the bees. 
So, so what changed home. now? He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Why to prepare dinner? As he wandered through oh, this cool. fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinies. This room is just slowly now turning into an office. An enormous round room with monitors and mines. <laughs> and down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. <laughs> oh. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Well, there we go. That's the name of the game. Pre please press N to tell your kids a story. Wait, I have kids now? a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Oh, this is literally me right now. Just constantly playing the game over and over. Trying to find a different ending. Tell your wife you love her. there is no answer. <laughs> How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. Oh, the I get what's going to happen. The more invested he gets. He's going to keep he talking and eventually we're going to restart to the start of the game, aren't we? Okay to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. How? But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Press... Please press J to be at work in the morning. See, if I press that, that's just going to be the start of the game, right? But, like... I, I, okay, there's a potential I could wait for at least a minute or two just to see if, like, uh, the narrator says anything. But I feel like this is one of those moments where it's like, it's going it, to, it's trying to ask me to not do it, but it wants me to do it. Like, it wants me to press the button. So we wait. Not for too long, because I can't read. Really, okay, yeah, I think I've already waited long enough. Uh, do I press the button? Do I press it? Okay, I'll give a 10 second countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... One. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm waiting until the clock turns the thing. I'm waiting until it goes all the way up. That little red ticker is going to go all the way to the top. Oh, yeah, and in other news, by the way, whilst I'm just waiting for this to happen, fucking Pyro has finally just moved off of Twitch and gone onto YouTube. And he's happy as well because he's getting like three times as much the. Uh, like viewership and whatnot than he did before, and plus he actually has memberships and option. I know, think pass. I'll just press it. You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get? I him don't want to be here himself? then. How can I make him look at himself? A mirror. To question nothing. Okay. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. You need to wait for. Okay, I won't even be surprised at that point. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this. Because like that one baby game he made me play, I had to wait like four hours. But I'm not waiting four hours on the stream. Maybe this time. And I tried again. What? Please die. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. I'm not pressing buttons though. Okay, just Loki telling me to kill myself. Epic. So, did I die? Yep, I think I died. Right, let's do that. Uh, let's actually All unplug the phone. Were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, Okay, um, so I'm not going insane. That wasn't there before. Every time I restart the game, something's so, like slightly different. Like, I've never seen that ladder in there. I didn't see that there. And now there's a door that literally says, like, new content. Oh, new content? What does that mean? 
new content. Oh wait, is it because this is like the like deluxe edition, ultra deluxe mega bundle whammy doodle? I wonder if that's what it actually means by new content. The fuck Hello, is happening? Oh. And thank you for playing the Stanley Parable. Oh yeah, it is. Ultra see? Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video 2013? game since 2013 on Jeez. home computers. And I'd never played After it until now. Critical and commercial success. It was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world <laughs> of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. You have to play the game a good few Stand dives, though. Just get back to here. New adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Well, I guess we're not going to be going back to that phone anytime soon. The literal, like, mop bucket or mop handle is stopping me from going through there. Okay, so far it's an elevator. <laughs> yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning. Oh, if I said yes at the start, it probably would have given me the new content option, right? Oh. Shit, I wasn't listening. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long <laughs> last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Watch there be like no new content at all. It's just all a bamboozle. Mm. It's all a sham. Mm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if them. Um... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. All right, all right, let's see, it's the jump circle. Hold on, let me just... Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be I can jump else, now. Right? Okay, something's gotta happen when we do this, right? I'm not just gonna jump and get confetti. Oh, in a clever way, though. This is like a tutorial to tell me I can jump now. Uh-oh. Oh, oh bro, are you sitting Oh, my, they just took away my ability to jump now. You can't jump. Achievement unlocked. Thanks, Steam. Thanks, game. <laughs> okay, fine. Just take a mechanic away from me, like. I didn't need it anyway. We just probably break the game with it, like. Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. <laughs> it's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Yeah, <laughs> you could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Imagine they just introduced leaning now. Honestly, this, this, that's... Oh, never mind. We're actually in an office space. That's over a pit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you that's for joining the new content. You've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their families <laughs> rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please <laughs> ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended. Where's... I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> oh my god, there is! 
<laughs> test achievement, please ignore the uh, test ignore achievement description. Replace way. this. They could never <laughs> live up to such expectations. That is fucking brilliant. With me. Why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about? No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? I mean, I have no choice. You're just gonna, yeah, <laughs> just just gonna reset me anyway. Like, there's no cho like, no choice there. Ah, that's kind of different. Okay. Oh, look, it's the hallway. Man. Psst. Stanley, come over here in the vent. I want to show you something. How about now? Oh, to be fair, though, it's kind of cool. Because now I actually get to crouch for once. Sunset. I should really look out for more game references. Because there's been three so far. Does that kind of say coffee nuts? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. We're already going into something. Already has me okay. crouched. You remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Why do I get weird Elden Ring vibes from this? I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. The memory zone. You see, Stanley, <laughs> doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was? Don't forget the Stanley it was Parable. With a cheap re release. Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, oh, there the it is. Had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the I think it's in Russian as well, is it? Ah, 2013, when the Stanley Parable was released. I thought it was like 2015 or 17 when it released. The greatest wealth is memory. Oh, and they're like all the different magazines I think you can find throughout the game. <laughs> we have the Stanley Parable Collector's Edition. We've had Audience Award the Stanley Parable from the 2014 Independent Games Festival. And... Uh, the British Academy of Film and TV Arts, and it just has a sticker over it saying Stanley Parable. We have a rack with 2013 postcards. A first kiss, my first car. The release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. I, I love how much they're... Like, I love how much they're taking the piss out of themselves by saying they've made no new content. But this and upon itself is new content. The original remake. The Stanley Parable. So they relaunched it? Question mark? I'm so confused. Good times. This must be like really like good and nostalgic for the people who played it the first time around and got to play it again now in 2022. Smile because it happened. A trip down memory lane. We got discs here for... Uh, bits of music, uh, something, the Stanley Parable. Probably and the Stanley Parable. <gasps> me dollar bill! Spongebob me boy! We got the Stanley Parable demonstration. Oh, so that's legit, that's just legit a demo you can play. I'm guessing it's on Steam as well. Don't look at that too much. <laughs> Go outside, don't play for five years. Yeah, so, no, I was right. There is an achievement called that. Unachievable. It is impossible to get this achievement. I wonder if it actually is, then. Nominee. So, this is all their certs, then. 
I'm assuming they're the actual search, and they did just like do this for the game. New video video game releasing today. The New York Times. All the news that's uh, fit to print. Create a surprisingly down to earth. Rutger goes from scandal to new crisis. Business leaders pushing election of council allies. Colleges show uneven effort to enroll poor. I love the way it's just like the main headline in the New York Times. Somebody go back to... What date is this? 2013. And see if that's true. Oh, there's me just being crazy. Stanley Parable deals tough choices. A lot from the Los Angeles Times. In loving memory, little Stanley. I'm assuming that somebody's like hamster or guinea pig. That might actually be an actual thing. Because I don't remember seeing that at all in this. Okay, I assume I, yeah, I can't go to that yet. Please don't be copywritten just like yesterday. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Fantastic like the stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. <coughs> Did you hear that, Stanley? Every <laughs> game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. <laughs> it was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. <laughs> yeah, it's literally- bruh, found a Minecraft reference and a Dur house as well. I heard the Minecraft sound, so I was like, yeah, I know it's gotta be. There's Stanley sitting at his desk. There's all the monitors. The tasteful nostalgic. Uh, it was good. It's weird how I kind of feel- <gasps> Portal! Bro, we literally just played Portal 1 as well recently. What a tie-in, like. I think that's five video game rep. Well, six and seven if you count uh, Skyrim and Persona 3 being mentioned. Oh my god, this is so weird. There's the main menu, the original two doors, the original remake. And we got an actual screen of them, I guess, making the game. Person of the year. All the buttons you can. Well, some of the buttons you can push. Memory zone maintenance. Oh, I can't even go through it. The top 10 memories from the Stanley Parable 2013. I remember. <laughs> this is not the end. Or the end is never the end is never the end. The greatest wealth is memory. Huh, I've never seen that before. I wonder though, does it pull like? It probably does pull from the like progress I've made in the game so far, right? Oh, the re I thought that was the French flag. I'm like, what's that doing there? It's like, ah, oh, okay. It's just like the um, blue and red door. Oh, so I'm guessing that you could actually, yeah, you can buy it physically of the looks of a. That's kind of cool. Oh, now it closed. Your number is 29. That was in Portal 2, wasn't it? I swear that was in Portal 2, but it looks like the Stanley Parable, though. People play games because of what they can do inside them, and your game is very good at letting them know they can't do anything. Literally anything. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. 
Oh, GameSpot. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. <laughs> Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. But this expansion to the game was still made? <laughs> it's just like... It, it's just gas when you think about it like that. Oh, can I? Nope, I cannot jump. Oh, it wants me to go back, that's why. Oh, so wait, if I didn't jump so much in thing, would I actually be able to keep jumping then? The Sears Room 2013. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Those are different. I think I didn't see those there, did I? Can I go down here now? Oh, it's open, yeah. Have any of these changed? I don't think so. It's it's still so weird to me how they just have like Portal and Minecraft pictures just here just, just just because wait hang on i don't recall this part of the memory zone before what's this what's down here steam oh no God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam. <laughs> video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if they actually pull straight from comments, that would be fucking gas. I don't think they will. But let's see. Oh, there you go. Got the recommended there, but I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating <laughs> than entertaining. <laughs> unfunny. I'm not trying to be oh. funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh my god. Okay, wait. So we have we can go down there to go Okay, we can't go that like gate here. We can go here. Or we can go over th Oh no, we can't. Never mind. Some of them are just blanked out. But they're probably, like, actual reviews as well. It'd be so funny if they did. They're just, like, they reached out to the guy and be like, Yo, can we put your, like, negative review <laughs> in our game? And he's like, uh, yeah, sure, but I don't like your game. It's like, yeah, cool, but thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, let's see what this one says. Very proud boy fight. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You wouldn't tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. I'm so tempted at some point. Maybe if I re re like watch the stream, I need to look up some of them names just to see if they're actual people. Like, Wait, what's the saying? Oh yeah, it's just boxes with reviews. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. <laughs> a skip button. There well, it goes. Well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then 
Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking <laughs> for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence... He's on purposely rambling that's on what now. They're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story and the choices are... Oh, gee. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations. <laughs> <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this. <laughs> they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review, merely because of this very situation. <laughs> yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to They're just this review, guy. So that the feature is not widely abused. Look, I would even be okay with Steam altering this particular review so that it reads as something more <laughs> beneficial. Something along the lines of, this game is the best game. Hmm. Let me start over. How about this? From, from the ashes of depravity rises the phoenix of quality. How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? Such a revolutionary step forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time. The additions and changes made to this expansion... I'm kind of tempted to skip him again, but I will... Mm. The history of all media we'll see if that's okay, what pours it. Okay, welcome Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe... <laughs> 45 minutes? Oh my god, I'm so glad. Unendurable by any means, but it's... Well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated. Oh, it's and gone. we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? <laughs> Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. Wow. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no... <laughs> oh, Stanley. You're back. You're back. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Fucking hell. Two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking, and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking, but it isn't... <laughs> 
Oh, oh, wow, that's, this is long. Oh, hello, it's you, you're here again, welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time, I stopped keeping track after a year. After a year? I've sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year. Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days. Months. <laughs> I'm such a dickhead. I just keep skipping him. Oh, is uh, is he dead? Have I skipped so much time that he's gone? Oh wow. Wait, yeah, the clock's not moving. I broke time. Uh oh. Yep, yeah, no, the clock's on the ground. That's the smoke alarm. Why is the smoke alarm going off like? Oh wait. No, it's just a little ladder. I just don't like the beeping, please. But they didn't understand. The game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had us. to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of the <laughs> yeah, like... demands. But then he's Oh, yeah. No, I thought like time it froze, bro. I never thought the batteries would just it's die. The like consistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the Actually, now that I think about it, the that's died as well. Heart, the words that they are speaking into the world. As though they I keep get like going out and checking just in case. Yeah, okay, there's nothing that's happening. I just have to keep pushing the button. We must be centuries in the future at this point. Like, by the time we open up... Never the end is never the end is never the end. Never the end is 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 never the end. Oh, water's starting to flood or leak through the pipes. is never the end 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 is never the end. Hearing someone else say this is actually so satisfying. Never the end is never the end is never the end. Oh, uh, I guess he did end it at one point. <laughs> it's just like, so much for the end never being the end. And the plant just keeps getting worse. Yep, that's dripping a lot more. Okay, so it looks like I'm drowning to death for this ending. Okay, if the button pops... Oh, yeah, nope, the water did flood in. I mean, because I don't even have to go far this time, let's just uh, have a little look-see. Bro, what the fuck is even happening anymore? <gasps> Daylight! We can get out soon! We just need, like, a pile to build up over there and we can actually get out. Oh. Ah, oh, that's actually kind of nice. Wow, we must really be very far in the future if, like, flora starting to grow here. Oh, never mind, it's all dead. And it is just darkness outside. The clock is gone. It's like nowhere to be seen. Bro, I just think the building is going to collapse. Honestly, yeah. I know I keep looking around and it might be annoying, but I just want to, just in case. Okay, I don't think anything's different this time. Never mind, that is different. I just heard something. I don't want to know what those sounds are, so let's skip to the forward to the future. Oh, wow. The building's tilted on its side now. And up here is filled with darkness. Huh. It's a desert now. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can't jump. Um... I mean, you were always telling me to go right. Uh, let, let, let's just go right. I'm assuming I'm seeing mirages. Wait, can I get on top? 
I can. No? Yes, no. Yeah, it won't let me. Right, I guess we just keep walking and die or something? I don't know. Nah, there, that's definitely a mirage. There's no way there's actual shit out there. Let's at least walk towards these and see if it's anything. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that's it? Okay, cool. I guess. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it be? Bro, it's mad to think Standard it all starts here. Perhaps like in this fucking gone. office. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not gonna make a choice yet. I'm just gonna follow the path and see where it goes. Okay, let me just New new content. Huh. I don't think that sign was there before. Oh, you mean when I was back in thing, I should have tried to click the button. Well, not in here, obviously, in the desert. I should have, honestly. I should have seen what happened. Oh, yeah, that door's closed. Um. Okay, do you want me to go back to see if I can get to the phone again? Or do you want me to, like, keep doing the new, new content? Uh, Tola. Actually, wait, can I fuck around with this? No, I can't. Uh, let me bring this up here. Honestly, this is a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I don't know why I held back on playing it. It was the same with like Undertale as well. I held back back on playing it because it's like, oh, this game's just popular with everyone. I don't want to play it, you know. New, new. Okay. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Oh, we're just going... Oh, no, 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 we're going this way. Yeah, actually, the voice is different. It's like... I think it's a bit more nasally. Like a slight bit of hazel in his voice. Or nasal in his voice. Oh, yeah, and at the start, you mean as well. Yeah, the voice wasn't there until I just walked in here. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable. And about oh, how this the same one. This ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. <laughs> the original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Oh, what the fuck? Which is why I'm very why is it dark? to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. The end is never the end yes, again. See, isn't this far seven two <laughs> four two seven. A few minor additions. Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel, an entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. The <laughs> two testing two printers at the same time, two different phones. Big two. Okay, so his voice is calling it the Stanley Parable Two is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? <laughs> it tastes the sequel. What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable Two. Now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. That's actual Windows ten? Well, 10 to 11 screen. That's cool. <laughs> I'm just like... Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Building castles in the sky. Just the two of us. You and I. Bro, what is like? Head their back two doors. New content is out. New content part two is in. Old and busted. New hotness. Boring sections of the chair. Cool red section of the chair. Oh my god. 
The game has given me a good laugh, I'm not going to lie. Every pause button in a Roman numeral 2. More TSP, better TSP, win-win, sequential mindshare, paradigm shift, synergy, brick-and-mortar approach, envelop client-centric marketing, the color red, leverage uh, holistic value. The Stanley Parable, two halves of a brain. <gasps> the fucking... He told me before that that would come... Uh, be part of the story at some point. And look at it now. It's in the Stanley Parable 2. Let's go. Yeah, no, dude. That's just you typing as per normal. Oh, we have different logos here. Oh, it's a fucking presentation. Right, what do we got? So, the Stanley Parable 2. The Stanley Parable 2. The Stanley Parable 2. The Stanley Parable 2. The Stanley Parable and 2 is in it. Thanks for attending my meeting in Comic Sans. <laughs> Bro, this is... A <laughs> two and backwards two with a dot underneath. Two Stanleys! Bro, who who who's thinking of this shit? Bro, big now brain. Clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much <laughs> more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. <laughs> Who took the red marker and somebody wrote later? Me. Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Batman Arkham Asylum 2, and it's just in bracket city. Divinity Original Sin 2, Doom 2, Aladdin 2, Return of Jafar, Ar uh, Dark Souls 2. Even though a lot of people actually don't like uh, fucking <laughs> the Dark Souls 2. Yeah, back to that fucking person drawing. It's like two ears, two eyes, two balls. Maybe Stanley finally gets his other testicle. Um... We won't put Destiny 2 on that list, actually. I was going to say, what other 2s could we put on that list? But we're not putting Destiny 2 there. Um, I don't know, actually. Pretty good roster, honestly. Haven't played Half-Life or Half-Life 2. That's something I really need to buy next. I played all the Batman games. Well, some of them. Okay, the... Yeah, no, I've played Arkham Asylum, uh, Arkham City, and then... Thing. I think that's how it is, yeah. Right, uh... <laughs> the pre the prequel to Stanley Parable two is the sequel to the Stanley Parable. Okay, so it's basically just saying it's a prequel. Two. Two two two, and all the twos. This way to the show floor. Oh look, we got, we even got like a red carpet. Th thank you everyone. Thank you. It's me, Stanley. New features. Thank, thank, thank you. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> New content bus. <laughs> just, I don't know why it's making me laugh so much. I just think it's like... It's funny how, like, I guess aware they are or whatever. Like, just the way, like, they've made this is just funny. Oh, wow. We even got a big museum. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. The Stanley Parable 2. And then I have the 2 on its side. Oh, maybe... Yeah, no, because if you enter like that, if you if you stay here, it looks a bit better. Now, if you go different angles, it doesn't really look as good. Yo, merchandise! I saw the new content, Stanley Parable. I bet this is like actual content they're selling, or content, uh, shirts they're selling and merch and whatnot. Yeah, see, they even have a barcode up here. I bet like, if anyone were to scan that right now, it would go straight to their store page, which is fucking clever, like. Uh, you know, actually, let's stay this side. The Stanley Parable 2... Oh, wait, sorry. The The Stanley Parable 2 Reassurance Bucket. New feature. Okay, I'm not going to actually go up the stairs yet or through any doors. No, please, no screenshots. You know I'm going to walk in there and screenshots shit. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket Office Decorations Infinite Hole. Interesting. 
That's a Stanley Parable 2. Wait, is that Stanley's face? Have we ever seen Stanley's face? I don't think we have. 3 and 44. We got collectibles. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Jump circle, infinite hole. New features, new content, new ideas. Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. The new updated ray traced more of the same, but in a good way sequel to the Stanley Parable, I'm assuming that says. Uh, the baby is all grown up. <laughs> and it's bankruptcy you have to stop him from falling into. No, please, allow it. Oh, I want to see if I can click it. I can't click it. No screenshots. Screenshot. Oh, I hear interference. Red is the new orange. A whole new office. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Okay, so we have down there. We haven't even gone that way yet. Uh, what do we have here? So enjoy the new features. There's another pathway I can go. Epilogue. Taste the sequel. Cold drinks. Hear your name in the game. How do I hear my name in the game? Exclusive. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. If I go through those doors though, will that... Okay, wait. Real quick then. Let me go this way. Because I, I, there's no door over here. I just want to make sure the door doesn't just close behind me. Free, new, and easy achievement. Can't, I can't believe it's uh, that simple. He's <laughs> just pointing at a trophy. Free achievement. Get yours right now. Pull the lever. Receive your achievement. No more step. It just works. Nah, I'm good. I'll, I'll stay up here. I feel like it's just going to close on me. <gasps> Yo! Jump circles back. Oh, but it's still zero. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's hey, Dammy. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. Uh, Bro, come on. I want to jump again. I don't know why I'm so, like, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. No screenshots. There you go. It's just like, I just keep like screenshotting everything. Uh, not much, Dammy. We're just playing like uh, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Mega Edition. And having a blast, honestly. Time Depth. Okay, so we have Time Like Infinity, Distant Future, Falling, Distant Time Space, Distant Past, Distant Space Time, Space Like Infinity, Whole Like Infinity, and then... If you go, you use the up arrow, that's time, and if you go to side, that's deeper. Oof. We don't need any time shit ruining. Or not ruining, but destroying my brain. Opening rim, depth infinite, surrounding area. Hole entrance, infinity. Infinite hole chair, hole, depth, space, more hole, question mark, question mark, question mark. Science, infinity, more, falling, educational use only. The holy moly, how deep can we dig? The answer may mildly surprise you. It just keeps going. What's here? Oh, is this the room with thing in? This looks like it's going to bring me back to a skip button. I don't want to go there. I'll see you in a minute. I just like, I want to make sure I've checked everything. Then I'll decide. Because honestly, like... Getting my name said in the game sounds uh, exciting. But imagine if it just says Stanley, honestly. That, that'd be fucking bro. New. Can you find them? Can you find them? New collectibles. Collect them all. Oh, that looks so cool. Nothing's going to lock behind me, is it? Ah, collectibles. Oh, fuck! No! It locked me! In the Stanley Parable 2... 
You'll run around gathering up these miniature standing. Oh well, I guess we'll do that next time round. Fuck's sake! There will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. <laughs> No screenshots, eh? <laughs> it's just like... It's just every player looking for these collectibles. Zero of six? Wait, can I go back out then? Oh, I can actually go back out, thank God. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for Exit absolutely jump circle. tragic. Investor showcase. Infinite holes over there. Exit is that way. Expo Hall 2 guide. Jump circle, this map, free achievement. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Merch settings, world champion. Uh, the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket, Office Decorations, Epilogue, Collectibles, Infinite Hole, and The Exits. Uh, there's, oh yeah, wait, there's up here as well, I think. I think I saw stairs beside the jump circle. So if I kept, bro, I didn't know. If, uh, how high does this go? Jeez. So we have Settings, World Champion, Infinite Hole, and then Free Achievement back down there. That's new. I'm not going through this door. I'm just going to have a little peek through. Two. Meeting at two. Oh, wait. Never mind. There's no door here. Oh, this is the epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes. Yes. It would go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's <laughs> just like uh, that image up there. It's like I think that's the girl that saw our like body and just chose to do nothing. And then obviously we're like just working away on the computer on her brain. Why is it like it genuinely feels like I've been playing this game for like or I played this first when it came out and now I'm just going through nostalgia. Settings world champion. Oh, okay, cool. I guess the door doesn't even work. Ah, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Where's the infinite hole? We're going into the infinite hole. We can go back another time to listen to my name in game. And watch it just basically say Stanley or something instead of, like, Joseph Nightflyer. Right. You gonna Stanley, laugh? here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A steady <laughs> forward for video games as a medium. Okay, I don't think that. Yeah, there's literally nothing else here, so I'm just gonna. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then. Since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Oh, okay, that's grand. I thought we were actually, like, it's just going to be an ending. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later <laughs> spectrum of things. Wait, am I going to die if I don't? Wait, I'm keeping my finger on G just in case. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite <laughs> of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. Oh. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar <laughs> and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. 
what normal person actually wants to fall infinitely. Not me. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. I am. I actually am the problem. Look, uh, the things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't You know. said things. I didn't say anything. Just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Okay, give it like 10 seconds or so. We'll see like if, re like if he's going to say anything else. It's like, you know what? No, I like chilling at the bottom of this hole. A hain, a doe, a tree, a cater, a cuig, a shea, a shocked, ucht, knee, ja. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, for <laughs> I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? Yeah, it did. I can't help yeah. but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. <laughs> there's just so like, much more to hmm. show you and to talk about. And I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Okay. Oh, sorry, I fell. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Yeah. I can see the top I'm there. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. Even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. <laughs> What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame oh. of my lie has come to... How is this still appealing to you? I know you're oh, obsessed... Oh, I didn't with mean holes, to but at this stop depth, him. I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh... Who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Wait, I... Hmm. Yeah, it's not working. Is the, um, teleport button not working? You sure? Well, I mean... I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. I'm literally it's pressing the button. button. Well, I suppose. I... Just give me the jump. There's one thing I can do to fix this. Jump. I'm out. Goodbye, what? Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. But, but boss, I'm, I'm done. The hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of it. Maybe if I didn't use all my jumps, I wouldn't be here. Oh. What's happening? I hear something. Help. I want out. <laughs> I don't want to be in this hole anymore. Oh, shit. Uh, but boss is moving down. The narrator, bro. Wait, please come back. I guess we're going down. Maybe infinitely this time. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> the fucking music as well, playing, like, building it up. Imagine something just closes it off. It's like, yes, this was my plan the entire time. To end you, Stanley, once and for all. I have to change your perspective. <laughs> I 
I can't spam it. Oh, it's only one at a time. G to change as well. I could change the music as well. <laughs> what is happening anymore? I'm so confused. H to change your reality. <laughs> What am I doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Change yourself! Wait, uh... Wrong one. Let me zoom back in before I do this one. Am I up- Yeah, I'm upside down like dinner bone, aren't I? <laughs> Yeah, I'm upside down. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, the music's going backwards. Oh, good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there. Drifting away into the Aww. But we can't have that, Stanley. Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. Oh, God. So I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Am I, am I seriously just going to go back down again? Yeah, I'm going back down again. I think I hear ominous noises again. Oh, never mind. It's loading. Are we back to the start again? Oh, we're back here. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Oh, so it reset me back. Okay, grand. We are trying this then. The button that, uh, sorry. Mm. The Stanley Parable 2, exclusive. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. That's new. That, yes, he had closed Parable it. Two, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized <laughs> and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, Joe, there's nothing else to do, just do it. Jim. Sorry, I should have tried. <laughs> right now, the button oh, is you. Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say but, like... your name, whatever name that is. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the but, full but experience like, of this. You could have at least made it say Stanley. You'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's <laughs> possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Oh, wow, okay. Do you feel it deeply? Yes. Are you really, truly Jim right now? Yeah, my Uncle Jim, if yeah. So, then please, step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see? What a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Jim. Ooh. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth <laughs> the money. Yes. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Can I leave then? I can actually leave. 
Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the Jim button away. Jim. Otherwise, Jim. soon you'll start Jim. to lose all. Jim. No! Jim. You actually Jim. Are. Give me it! No! Jim. I should have spammed it when I had the chance. Before I even took the button away, man, for God's sake. Come on, what if you say Jim as well? That was gas. <laughs> I don't know why I was actually expecting it to say my name. But I mean, anything's possible, right? People name Jim to play the too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Right, so we tried the infinite hole, we tried that, we got a collectible, one of six as well, if there is six. There's the exit, there's that black door that leads somewhere, and then there's like... Oh yeah, there's in here as well. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? <laughs> yeah, well, someday. Or happy 12th birthday, step niece. There you go. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. It's, Get yeah. well, someday it is. Well, fine. But th thank you for asking anyway. Oh, it is. he put the balloons all in the photos. Actually. Maybe I should have gone with... No. No, no don't go with my decision. I've been gone. stupid, like... I was just trying to be funny. Okay, fine. Since I know I can just walk in and out, let's see if we can get this achievement then. <laughs> it's just like... I'll tell you if it pops up in the bottom corner. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Wait, do they have... I think they have the other achievements on that as well. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm <laughs> no wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. At some point. Wait. Just keep doing it. Pull me, please. Well, I mean, I'm pulling you, but you're not doing anything. Don't worry, we got this. Maybe if you do it like 142 times or 120 something times or whatever amount of times, you'll do something. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? You know, that's the thing. That's the exit. Uh, the jump circle. So that's the exit. That's the door. Merch store you can visit. The bucket, that's it. That's what I haven't done here yet. <laughs> the amount of cheat or like screenshots I'm gonna have is ridiculous just because I'm memeing like. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. <laughs> it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, the bucket's not even here. After much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley oh, wait. Parable Here the comes. Insurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. <laughs> Imagine what a pain in the ass that would be. Yes, the bucket is the perfect, perfect solution. solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? 
The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Can I keep it? The benefits it? of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Oh, I'm actually taking it. Let's go, it's mine now. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Um, Right, up the stairs. Joe, this is not up the stairs. Where is the stairs? Oh, yeah, it's over here. I think that's it then, isn't it? After I've gone through that door... Five is this map. Where's the number five? Is it just like somewhere? Yeah. Okay, so that's where I am. Uh, merch settings that can't go through that. Stanley Parable bucket. Decorations epilogue. Uh, collectibles A9. It's just that one, isn't it? Uh, infinite hole and then, yeah. So literally it's this door and then the exit. Wait. Oh yeah, over here, Joe. Oh, I'm an idiot. I okay, I guess we're just going to leave then. Uh, actually, yeah, I could just go down this way. I don't need to go all the way around. I forgot I already went through that. So yeah, I guess that's it then. I guess we just leave? Question mark? I haven't even done some of the endings for the other game, or like the main game yet, yeah, but like, okay. Uh, but yeah, Joe, may maybe follow this, yeah? Joe, stop trying to skip through, just go up. I don't think any of that means right. anything. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready yeah. to move on now? Yeah. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly <laughs> clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Oh, so are we just gonna like play the like original game with all of those features in it? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable Two. <laughs> um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's <laughs> okay. Never mind. <gasps> Wait, jump oh, circle. Right. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is much better. I feel good about. It. <laughs> Here we go. Version two. Well, that looks <sighs> bad. Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. They really don't. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. That's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. <laughs> Tastefully. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, This is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. <laughs> oh, it's actually put me onto his menu screen as well. <laughs> That's gas. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be playing the Stanley Parable 2. 
Uh, wait, are the settings all the same? Yeah, the settings are the same. They just changed everything to be red now. Begin the game. <laughs> it's so good. Man, this game is legit so fucking good. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Wait. Stanley worked for a I, there's the, the balloons. balloons. Where he was employee <laughs> I fucking called it that they do something like this. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk. Okay, I'll skip this because I assume it's just going to be the same. There's the balloons. Some of them kind of not having a good time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Oh, it feels he weird to be back memory. here. <laughs> wow, all my co-workers are gone and there's this weird bucket just sitting on a podium and a like red like fucking royalty looking cushion like. Stanley picked up the bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket. I don't know what I can do for that. Is there like another button I can push? No, I don't think so. Oh wait, they won't let me go straight through here this time. I don't know why. I wouldn't have caused that, would I? That's different, isn't it? Uh, unplug phone. Can I even do that this time? Because, like, we're in the... We're, we're playing the Stanley Parable 2 now, you know, Tola. We're not playing Stanley Parable 1. There's no phone here, actually. Is there that I can unplug? There's phones, but... Okay. If we reach that room somehow through this way, then yeah. Oh, the fucking thing's gone. It's not there anymore. Can't go through. Still leads to the back, though. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Okay, so if we're going down the pathway to unplug the phone, which way was that? That was the right, wasn't it? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley that had bugged out. the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. I love that I'm just carrying a bucket now. Just, just, just no other reason. Just, just because. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Okay, so I'll keep going. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. So that's back to the meeting room. Oh, yeah, okay, no, now I remember. So it's through here, onto the lift, up there to get the thing. No, said the bucket. <laughs> no. Go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Okay, Good, bucket, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was <laughs> It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. So we're just playing the same thing again, but now the bucket's... A quote-unquote bucket is directing me. here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Wait, this one? It's not really that dark. It's actually kind of bright. Oh, this room, yes. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Whoa, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. <laughs> a talking bucket. Uh, can't you see? Uh, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. 
but there isn't exactly an instructional video on I need to do this again so when we go back to first time yes, there is um it's sitting right here let's take a look what is comedic <laughs> what is comedic timing how does it work how long should it last how can it be used Clowns to take notes. silence your political enemies and more importantly, Wait. can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, okay. start by stating and spelling your name. <clears throat> Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke. Joseph, J O S E P H. Times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. J O S E P H. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18, 18 seconds, seconds and no less than 13 and a half. Pausing only for bathroom breaks. No. When, <laughs> when the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your <laughs> loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. Okay. <laughs> I'm Dunny with the funny. I hit my microphone. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Yes. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. So <laughs> from your audience on how rapt they were throughout okay. the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long oh, and should include the same question reprinted several times. <laughs> just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember Why is everyone from The Simpsons? At some point, you gut-busting little scam. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight Wait. the twelve-legged invader who threaten our uh, existence, oh, oh, and to very likely uh, die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles, uh, all yeah, of us uh, must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause. Yeah, yeah. Our children must do after us, and yeah. our children after them. Ah. speed and may Earth reign supreme. Oh, oh. Um, oh goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, yeah. Matter, I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again. So I can oh, tell my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. <sighs> Oh, okay. I actually have to walk back. <laughs> I thought it was gonna make me fucking, or to, like reset me back there. Can't open that. I guess there's no other way. Oh, and there's a there's a fucking fence around it this time, so I can't just walk I'm off. Really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of uh. comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we have the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now. Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out. Add the bucket spoke. Honestly, I, I, I have a stupid smile on my face right now just from playing this. Like, the people who made this and wrote the game are just fucking smart. And the gu guy doing the narration is fucking doing a phenomenal job at it, honestly. It's no wonder people love this game. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> when Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, we just go straight to the punchline, okay. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. 
Oh. You know what's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic... Without bucket, okay. ...culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. No, it doesn't. What an egregious mistake. Wait, no, narrator, you're right. Myself. I don't deserve the title of king of comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke telling well. I think. I think oh, don't I please, don't play the video again. Video. No, please, I no, no. That will help me improve my. Is he actually going to play it? Go. Oh, really? thank God. <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door. Yeah, no, it was already unplugged. I couldn't even unplug it. Oh, okay, so we're going straight in the room. What? Yeah, see, what it's a uh, thing. No, no, no. It's already unplugged. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> he is getting and annoyed Stanley at this. Came to a set of two open doors. They entered the door on the left. Well, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Oh, is it going to loop now? Okay, I'll do this one more time. If it doesn't loop, <clears throat> when uh, the obviously we'll keep going. But if it does, then I'll go doors. left. They entered the door on the left. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, no, it's looping. Yeah, I can tell it's definitely looping from that. It's not changing <clears throat> at all. And the bucket came to a set of two open doors. They entered the door on, on the left. left. No, 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 no. You were supposed what? to go through the door on the right. I did. To the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I, I think <laughs> this was all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely done and over. It's all your fault. Stanley. I kept going right. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of my friends <laughs> from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Oh. Wait, there is. Oh! Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you. <clears throat> it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Oh, we're getting actual credits this time. Let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Do not I can't even leave. Delivery. Pale with shame. Pale with shame. Pale. Based off the work of the Stanley Parable 2013. I'm just. I'm just. I'm no good at these jokes. Additional art assets. Valve. Oh, Valve actually helped them. No wonder they could put the portal reference in. Okay, you can't just give me credits for the outro of the game and then have me spawn back here whilst looking at something new. Oh my gosh. I think this is the first time I've ever wanted to play a story choice game over and over, like. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, leave Bucket this time. Technically, this is a restart, so I won't. And there's a door open there. Can I open any other? Can I go back in my office? Why is the office different? Oh. Welcome to the whiteboard ending. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Oh, let's go up to the whiteboard. Dog mode. Oh, fuck, Jesus. I didn't actually expect to be able to tick it. 
I'm going to turn on dog mode just to see what that does. Is the narrator now just going to be speaking in barks? When Stanley came Never to mind. a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee well, lounge first, first, just, just to, to admire it. it. So wait, do we ever even figure out like what happened to all like everybody in this building? Because I don't think we will at this point. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to. Honestly, get to the I just remember there seeing the coffee the machine. Right now, they're actually doing an offer. It's like a hundred and something for a coffee machine. But they reduced it like to thirty. It's like what? How? Why? And how? Oh yeah, this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired. Oh, see, there we go. Now, now we don't have any fencing. <laughs> they learned from the first time I jumped off uh, during Tang, but I'm not your enemy, really. Why is B open and not any other? I realize that your trust in someone hmm. else can be difficult. Interesting. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you, like all, all you, all you, all this time. time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stan. Uh, here we go. Someone you now we get to see what the actual dialogue, Please. or what the actual Stop dialogue is going to be. Make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Bros before hoes. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white uh -oh. light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope Wait, for I... a life reunited one... Wait, oh goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yes. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> I love that bit they do when they Stanley rustle the papers. Here, day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up That's a lie. actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? What? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Wait, what? <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. Wait, is he this talking is to me now? To make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, no. I don't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Oh, uh, don't. Please observe this no, please, don't play the other video, please. Choice. <laughs> Come best on. Part of being a real person, but if used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. Right? How is example, it dangerous, then? In this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which <laughs> choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Uh, oh, Excellent. Sorry, I forgot. Making choices on a regular basis the is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do okay. you make more than eight? Less? I probably do, and actually. Finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful, They're and not. whether you'll ever make a significant contribution <laughs> to the world, just remember, 
that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay, are we done? Ah, oh, what? Welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh my gosh, it, it's going to do the exact same thing again, but we just don't have the bucket, and it's not like in the Stanley Parable 2 Walter Deluxe Edition thing. Yeah, see, it even has fencing as well. <laughs> oh my god. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform. <laughs> Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. I could if you it's write it right. Home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Fucking hell, man. What time? Oh, we're just after three, yeah. Yeah, I still have a good lot of time. At least until maybe four. Then after four, I'll decide if I need to go or not. But if we're still in the middle of something, maybe I'll try and f wrap it up. Somehow. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending. The story will have no. resolution once again. And you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. No. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I was just saying if the one behind me opened. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Wow, uh, okay, yeah, everything is kind of contouring. <laughs> oh, I've no choice, do I? I have to go left now. The fuck? <laughs> I can click the option for the dog barking here. I think I broke myself. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. <laughs> oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? Oh, to no. willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. He's actually going to close it, isn't he? I have to. Oh. still here, here in this pile of rubbish, with you, you, who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? Yeah. You just had to see? Yeah. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually <laughs> knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world Maybe. outside of you? You're a child. Oh. My story. 
If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. Wait, destroyed? It been so oh, perfect. yeah, I did, yeah. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, I don't know if I should go right now. The door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back! Oh, is behave exactly as Stanley, Stanley would. would. That means. Oh wow! I moved, but also it... exactly as Stanley would. That means. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me just stop still. Behave exactly as Stanley would. That means. Nope, never mind. It's doing it on its own. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means. I can't even do anything now. It's freaking exactly out. Behave exactly as Stanley would. That means. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means. I can't do anything. It's oh my. Behave exactly as Stanley would. That means. Is, is there exactly something I can do? That means <laughs> I'm stuck. Is exactly See, now I can't even tell if the game is broken or if it's on purposely doing this. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means I think it's actually legit broken. Exactly as Stanley would. Wait, I heard the sequel is now paused. That means is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means I think I'm a legit stuck. I don't know what to do. Exactly as Stanley would. That means can I jump at least? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means I seriously don't know what to do. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Wait. Quit to menu. J just to make sure it's like not actually broken. This is the story. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. We're starting again, I guess. Cool. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. No book. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe it wasn't really a good idea to just leave. When Stanley came to a set of two Oh wait, doors, they're already open. The door on his left. Do um pl uh, plug uh, but go to left this time. I'll try. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Well perhaps he wanted to stop, stop by the employee, employee lounge first, first just, just to, to admire it. it. And here it was. The lounge. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I don't even know if I can go up I'm to the door joking. up there. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that the story Oof. has been about nothing but you all yeah, this time. time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, and this is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just unplug the phone? Now, that yes. wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me oh, we've listen through this whole thing again. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to fade white, white, roll, roll credits. credits. Not picking up the phone is actually, actually somehow, somehow an incorrect, incorrect course of action. action. 
How is that even possible? Oh, I'm gonna just stand None up for a moment. The model's probably not gonna track me whilst I'm standing. Understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? <sighs> Wait a second. Did I just see? No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real I wonder if he's using my actual <sighs> webcam to notice that. Because I do have my webcam on, I'll see for Jonesy. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, it's you might have negated, negated it entirely. entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, Absolutely I will have not. that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Can I Choice. skip this? I can't the skip this! But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a uh. real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a choice. machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting... I swear I have a curse when it comes to manga. I always buy, like, volume one Remember of things I know, and then I can never get volume two of it. And at no time like, should you I have make volume a one of that does not conform to rational My Hero, if you find yourself speaking Demon with a Slayer, who does not SEO Alternative. In all likelihood, that person is not real. I, I just said Allow that, the yeah. person oh, yeah, to finish their thought, also the light then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, To be fair with comedy, though, goodness, I think I got the second one of that, but I still don't have, like, three till nine, or two nine. Sack and crack. Excellent. Yes, I just practiced Making lying there. On a regular basis I definitely wasn't talking about my fucking manga collection, essentially. Most medical professionals right recommend making at least eight choices per day. Per Do day? You make more than eight? Less? And finally... If you begin to wonder if your choices are actually well, my choice today actually was either playing a portal a mod or playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, and I chose this, and I'm really glad space, I did it. Honestly, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have yeah, noticed back. that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh, it, w it literally wouldn't open because of thing. Oh, I don't have the dog bark sound effect now. Just checking everything just to double check. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, uh, we can't have you jumping uh, off the platform maybe. and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. Eh. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I know exactly what you mean now. So instead of going right and bugging it out, just go left. Because there's physically no other choice I can make right now. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. I want to bet, though, that the left way is still going to be broken. It's not going to be different. Now, remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Yes. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Yes. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Yes. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to so a set, set of two, two open doors, doors he, he entered, entered the door, door on his left. left. I said it wrong. Shush. Joe, just stop talking. Oh, wait, this was broken, though, wasn't it? Oh, it's not broken. Wait, it's actually... Was not a single person here it's actually all right. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. 
<laughs> I can't open it. No. He literally is not letting me go through this. This is bull. This is absolute bull. Wait. Oh no, that's probably just the light humming in there. Coming to a staircase. Oh wow. He walked upstairs to his boss's He's office. not letting me like make my own choice at all. Okay. So basically I'm just gonna complete the game, right? Man, I haven't been here in a long time. I can't even go into the bathroom. They don't even have the sign for it there anymore. Can't go through these, can I? Nope. This is different. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. This is shocked. Is that unraveled. a gun on a Stanley panda's head? Disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night Shark 115? Okay, I guess not. Night Shark 115. Spoke the code. Night Shark 115. I'm trying, he boss. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Okay, sorry, look, let's, let's be fair, it's not working. You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. I actually can't even interact with it either. My dumbass thinking it's actually voice activated as okay, well. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. But, like... He knows what it means to take a story seriously. I, I can't do anything. You see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why <laughs> this way? Sorry, I had to do it. To me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... Behave exactly as standing. Oh, no, that means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, we've entered left door. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Oh shit! Oh, just because I interacted with the fucking thing, I shouldn't have bothered. Choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead, and you'll be fine. Yes. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Joe, don't fuck around. Just, just do what he says. You are no longer Joe, you are Stanley. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. I, I, I didn't even do anything! Exactly as Stanley. Oh, it's gonna do it that again, isn't it? Responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow Okay, I'll do it one more time. If that doesn't work, I'll just go right and then go when left. Stanley came to a set of two, two open, open doors, doors. He, he entered, entered the, the door on his, his left. left. Unless there's some other way I'm missing, which I doubt though. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Oh wait, oh well, okay, I just stopped just still. Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll, you'll be, be fine. fine. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> When Stanley, Stanley came to a set, set of, of two, two open doors. doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, 
Hurry back in the other direction, because oh. we're not too late. I didn't do anything. Swear down, boss. See, we're going left again. Nothing. Ah, oh, something happened. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story. You've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Get Every Chris like out of the broom closet. It's, it. it's worth this now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Oh, oh no, it's impossibility. Yeah, uh, oh, I couldn't live that way. Oh, is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? Oh, I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I? No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Oh God. Thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. <laughs> what did you think that would be funny? You just yeah. had to see. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. Oh, now that I think about so it. Perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so if this hard doesn't to lead, If this doesn't lead to anything else, we could go back to the original. Okay, we'll let this play out, and if it just bugs again in this next part, I'm actually going to just do a thing. Stanley? Oh. Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the... Oh, yeah, no, it's still the end, yeah. Okay, no, it's still the end, okay. Can you hear me? I just forgot what he said last time. By crows, crows, crows. Was that there last time? Yeah, it probably was. It needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? So I can just drop down into yeah. here. You listening to this, Danny? Are you there? Okay. It's okay. I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Oh, I was going to do something else there just before the end. Ha! Huh, back again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, we're not Stanley seeing a blue to to office first. Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What are you saying, Tola? Bucket time or no bucket time? Ugh. I think this might be the last path I'll try. If it resets me back to the that office front again, and if nothing major is different, then I'll just like stop there. There's only so much I can stream before I'm gonna just get exhausted. It's been fun though playing this. I'm not gonna lie. Life could be dream. No, okay, so I'll just keep going. 
This is different. Huh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, hmm. Oh, well, sorry, I already passed it. <laughs> it's just like, it's already gone ages now. Um, I'm gonna go left. Just intuition. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of dis Oh, wow. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I want to get your man out. There's like someone's like trapped in there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. To his boss's office. Actually, can I open this? Nope. Can I go in here? I can. Oh, collectible. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. <laughs> no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. <laughs> oh, I kind of just closed the door on myself. Ah, the office is normal. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried, buried below, below his, his feet. feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, another figure. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Or what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. I prefer the first name, honestly. So I'm assuming if you play the original game, you might get all of them. No, Joe, you have to play two to get the figures during the original story. But if you go sideways, that won't work, I think. Or the other option, shall I say. Stanley walks straight ahead through the large door. Oh, wait. Mind control facility. I'd never escaped before. I'm going to try, because I know in control facility there's two options. But I want to see what escape is. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Okay, but what's this violent death you speak of? The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on the track. <laughs> I think he is I think he's bluffing, isn't he? He wants At me to turn point, around. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yeah, exactly. That's red. I mean, I don't think he's wrong. It was it just I just died, didn't I? Oh, no, I'm still falling. I'm alive. Not for long, though. Doesn't look like it. As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, oh. he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. 
trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Uh... Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted... Well, I guess I'm dead? Brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Can I, can I just, like, crouch or something? I'm not. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As Stanley oh. was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. A different a narrator. Visceral instant. Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh. Okay. Um, I, I guess we're alive. <laughs> the Stanley Parable. Yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Okay. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. <gasps> Do you see now? Yo. Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? This is so cool. This is just like the act, like the office layout. So wait, that you go this way to go that, and then you, you make the choice here. You choose one or the other. Filing cabinets, office computers. I'll just turn them off. Save some power. What we got? We got uh, the office. One, two, and three. We got. Button sounds. Uh, a selection of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. I kind of hear it, actually, yeah. Oh, and there's the credits. And we have two different ways. Oh, okay, so... Oh, no, never mind. I thought that was going to be a hole I just dropped in. Maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. Ultra Deluxe Announcements. In December 2018, we announced the Ultra Deluxe version of Stanley Parable at the Game Awards. These are screenshots of the games we made for announcements and the game's delay. I didn't see the money one there before. Warzone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would never become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Uh, there's no harm in it, like, poking some fun at some people, like. So we're just in a museum, I guess. From Forrest to the narrator, uh, will the Stanley Parable, oh, okay, subject some questions. How do you make a JRPG, Japanese RPG? How do you make the worst game ever? What is the difference between uh, a duck? How is the game going? I hope it is good or better than the first one. Cool, from a cool man. Are these actual, like, emails that were sent to them? Are you a rock? Well, it's not even question, it's question... Zian. Could you tell me what the significance of the number 1112800 is? Narrator emails. After the second trailer, we sent out... Uh, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Oh, cool. The office, the lounge, an early version of the lounge. I think it's better being blue than grey, honestly. Uh, the cargo lift, the second version in, is functionally the same as what in uh, what's in the final game. But we wanted it to look more like a place where cargo was actually stored. Yeah, that kind of just looks like portal, honestly. <laughs> what do we have here? The apartment timer. In a previous version of the choice... 
leading to the apartment ending. A timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. I want to pick it up now. The cargo lift. The cargo lift was uh, always intended to offer the choice of staying on or jumping to a different path. However, after this early version, we decided we also wanted the option of the player falling to their death. God, this thing's a maze. Zending levers. These levers were originally part of the zending. Uh, the player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color they had pulled. Ah, I want to see if that would work. Zending. This screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as Zending, which was eventually caught and merged with another part of the game. I don't know what part. Zending model to many iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete. Decided to abandon and change it again shortly before launch. Uh, escape menu. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted uh, from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. The game is now paused. Begin the game again. Resume the game. Okay. Can I get out of here? I, I think I've seen enough now. Monitor room elevator. There's like so much stuff in here, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Office clock. Okay, yeah, we just have to come out that side, so... Is that it? Can I go back to the office then from here? Because like, if I click resume game, will that just actually just bring me all the way back to the very beginning? Like, I mean, beginning beginning, like fresh beginning. There's some offices. Stanley's office from left to right, the evolution Stanley office of time. We created 2011, 2012, and 2013. Cool. I think it's cool that they have all this game design mock up. It's just. Oh, yeah, Joe literally said exit right there and you didn't even go through it. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Okay, Can I think it turned off. Can you see how much they need one another? Maybe. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Uh, uh, you can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Oof. I needed to see what would happen. <laughs> oh, we're loading. Okay, we're still in the sequel. So it hasn't got Oh, there's the bucket now. Huh. When Stanley came Oh my god, we're back here. Doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Um Fuck, now I'm getting intrigued though. Who is she? And plus I still haven't done the other thing at the end. Oh. Access plan. Produce one plank to allow ease of access past fence. Construct bridge to allow collection of shiny flow. Meaning both planks. Retrieve Chris's remains from the warehouse floor. Construct new structurally sound bridge. Lull La La looks like thing. Five, there, three. Gotta collect them all. Is this some kind of game? There must be a point to this. Inside of sequel. Oh, wait. No, that's not... Have I gotten three? Yeah, I've gotten three of them. So I think it's ticking off when I've gotten them. A large room, lots of boxes, stairs, something to do with stairs. Some are both red and blue. So when I have the red and blue choice? 
There will be a reward for finding them all. Stop kidding yourselves. I want them so much. I want to go home. How can we find them? Bottom text. What we know. Small floating objects have appeared across the office. We have uh, to synergize our resources to ensure their retrieval. There are many questions. There was no memo from management. Agenda. How can you tell you spotted one? What makes them float in the air? Who took these pictures of them? <laughs> Good point. Fig leaves are hard to find. Follow clues provided by employee 416. We can do it. Red room? That'd be downstairs then. Thank you. Good luck. Oh my god. I might actually have to stop and play this again later, man. I guess I have to actually find them. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Aha! Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stan Lorenes and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What I think it's Figlies. What encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me <laughs> sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Okay, I don't actually have to go through there, thank God. Because I wanted to go upstairs anyway. But yeah, no, as I said, I might actually have to just pause this and come back to it later. I was thinking, like, okay, maybe I won't come back to it. I'll finish one ending. But now I'm just like, bro, I'm technically continuing from last time. Yeah, no, that's where I found that. I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say that's a lovely purse. Ha. Huh. Interesting. I think it's trying to tell me that there's another figure somewhere. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees. What was it then? Half moans. Half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a I man denied remember. any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's, boss's desk. desk. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Alas, it was not. For although this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had been assigned a four-digit code. code. So deep. I think he said and something so different, like the three times no I've heard him speak like this. To guess it. Two eight four five. Statistically, nearly yet incredibly. I should wait till he finishes to do that. On the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. He was here last time. So, I think there's like two more figures total. Right, so this time when I go down, not escape, I want to go straight forward. And instead of shutting everything down, I'm going to reactivate everything and see what happens. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind, Mind Control, Control Facility. Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I have the strength right now to at least go until I spawn back in the office again. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom and... Honestly, the glitch screen, the fired screens must mean something. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. I he refuse. He couldn't accept it. 
his own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Control oh yeah, and there's these numbers as well. Happy I never sad, figured them out. Or content. Walking, eating, working. I can't all go of it there. monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past. The console to disabled, settle, okay. I guess I Stanley won't interact with it then. This machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, God. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, <laughs> and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Uh, what? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, uh, uh, nuclear? eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Let's say um, now two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. Oh, God. What precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you. About me, Three. where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. That's What's one that? and two. Where's You'd three? Like to oh. know where your co workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Yeah, wait, what I happened? I raised them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Fuck. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. Uh, to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the Oh next Jesus, no don't. Better. Oh that is My impossible. Goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, okay. I thought he was. Oh, wait, there's a thing up here now. Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Uh huh. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. One, four, two. Buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? I think it's wrong. <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Fuck. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. I don't know this what these buttons do. That door was open. You wanted to control this world for but I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. A goodbye, employee. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's thirty seconds you have left to struggle. Thirty seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. 
just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? You know, I think I'll let it go peacefully. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Jesus. <laughs> Flashbang me, why don't you? <laughs> the sequel is now paused. It's still the sequel even after all that. Oh man, I need to take off my headset. And I need to go. I I need to rest now. That is... Wow! I've been streaming for a good part of like four hours. Like three hours and 44 minutes, man. Holy shit, man. What a fucking game. Right. Um, I didn't even get everything set up yet. And like, <laughs> I just opened a game. It told me to put in the time again. Because I think that must have to be like to do with something with the um, five years kind of uh, achievement. But then I got this message saying, hang on, hang on. Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you booted up the game. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock and I appreciate that. That's how I know that you care about this experience, you're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing it if, if the time you're setting are correct. Tell, tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favourite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time, you've earned it. Alright, I'll let you play. Uh, get back to the video game now. What? <laughs> it's just like... Okay, we'll get all weirdy meta on me. Extendly play choose. Actually, should I just do that now? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Let's do that like legit right now and see if it like makes any difference. So the game told me. To uh, choose whatever time I like. So my favorite time. Please enter current time. So it told me to choose whatever time I want. So let's choose. Let's go into the PM for this one. There's probably like an achievement if you do the right one. But I'm just, <laughs> just going to go with 420 to see if it changes it. Ah, 420 PM. Your favorite time of day. Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now, I'm serious. How accurate 4.20pm is? Let's use another slider to find out. How accurate is 4.20pm? Very inaccurate. Uh, I'll just put it all the way there. You know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish I had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Hmm. Perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip up, whip a couple new ones up. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. What is this, man? We haven't even started playing the game yet, and I've already, I'm already playing it, technically. So should be ready by the time I boot it back up. And I'll set it right this time. Can I skip this? No, I can't. It's all good, though. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Yeah, actually, I'll do this right as well. J just fuck it, why not? Confirm. Please adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends. <laughs> Please adjust the slider until the number five becomes the number nine. Oh, wow.
Is I X like nine or something? Oh wait, we got nine here. Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. So all the way. Which of the two made up words below is most appealing to you? Scrumptish, tush, or ocubunkel? I like scrumptush. Please don't adjust the slider. <laughs> okay, I won't, I, won't, I won't this time. Do you know what time it is right now? Yes. Is the time that it is right now the correct time? Yes. What time is it anyway? Yes or no? Yes. I guess. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Yes. Help. Damn, okay, Monica. Calm down, like. Will you come back to visit me? Yes. Okay, so does it want me to exit the game again and do it, or nah? I don't know. I'm so... I'm so flabbergasted. We're not... We're, we haven't even... We haven't gone... It, like, I haven't pressed WASD yet. And we're already playing the game, like... Whoever... Like, Davey, you fucking madman. Like, how did you do this? What time is it? Oh shit, oh, it's just a click. Does anyone really truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I've adjusted all of the game's settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. And now, the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time. But that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There is still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again, if you can find me. Talk soon. Ah, That's depressing! That, that, that's pure- No! I refuse! No! Don't do that to me, man! Just make sure to exit out that quickly. If you saw a word documentary, you did not. You you were you were misconstrued. So, oh, it's just oh, see, I see the loading down here where my mouse is, like just underneath my name. Oh, that that's such a pity, man. So I wouldn't have even got that if I just went straight into the game without setting the time. That's so weird. And we're still stuck in the second par like Stanley Parable game whilst we're still playing the first game. <laughs> it's like, bruh. Right, at this point, I guess then, we're just going to see if I can find any um, figurines. Or figlies, I think they were calling them. This is the story of a man. Yeah, no, we can skip this. We can skip this. It's all good. Huh, welcome back, Achievement Unlock. Your achievements. What is this? Uh, welcome back. Quit the game and then start it again. <laughs> uh, play the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday? Are they nuts? Do they really want me to keep Stanley Parable open for 24 hours? And they'll know it's Tuesday somehow? Click on the 430... Five times. 435 times? 30 is just here, isn't it? All of his co workers were gone. What could it Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Yes. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, yeah. no, 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 no. 
I can't just give these merits away for such little <laughs> A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen, twenty. Mm. I have to say, I'm oh my God! The satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps fifty clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly, fifty clicks. Jesus. Okay. Right. Ugh. Let me turn the keyboard around. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling. What? I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle. Stand I right. am. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Four, one, 20 clicks, 417. Wait, where is 417? Twenty, twenty clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nine, twenty. Ooh, great. Now go click a few times on door four three seven. That's back this way, isn't it? Four three. Oh, that's this one. Excellent. Oh. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door four one five. Let's give it ten clicks or so. Fifteen, wasn't it? Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. Now back to door number four. Oh my god, bro! They really are like making me just go backwards and forwards just because I glance at the achievement. Wait, three sevens back here. So let's see. How about you click on? Well, I don't know. The copy machine. The copy machine. Where the fuck is it? Okay. Oh, there it is. All right, back to room four one seven. I'm really feeling it. Now. <laughs> getting somewhere. Okay, okay. I'll go to four one seven. Okay, now go climb on employee four one nine's desk. Can I? Oh, I can. Yes, this is great. <laughs> it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go, give me a few clicks on door four one six. We've almost got it! Oh my god. Copy machine, do that one again! Uh, copy machine. Is that all the way back? Do I have to go all the way back? Yeah, I have to go all the way back. Oh my god. Uh, let's try it here. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? Yeah. What were you thinking? Ah, uh, like, I, I hate that he's done that to me, but it's kind of gassed at the same time, like... Screw it. I think we're just gonna... We're gonna go to the... Meeting room. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah. Trust the completionist instinct. Okay, so a large room, lots of boxes. And... Somewhere both red and blue. Red and blue, lots of boxes. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Oh, I thought if I went back in, he would have said something about it. I think down here there's a lot of boxes. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Because this is where one was. It was red. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, 
Why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, We're looping. maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Two, before. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Oh yeah, this and is this matter, sequence. These rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Oh, we're gonna hit an ending! No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that uh, it was on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Yeah. Oh wait, maybe this if I float up dream. I can go through a certain oh, thing, right? Relief, Stanley felt, to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job, he wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my... <laughs> no, oh my god, god, we have to listen through the whole thing again. I kind of just want to begin again. Like, I, I don't want to wait through the whole thing. I'm like, but I'm scared if I click begin so again, we'll go out of two mode. Like. And began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One, he was a. Oh, I'm so tempted. Okay, Grant, okay. Okay, I know from now on, if I begin the game again, it's not going to reset me all the way back. I need to oh, not go that way gone. because it's a what bad ending. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I love how this room just never changes now. So, a room full of boxes red and blue. Boxes, red and blue. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Now we've already checked the bathroom. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and but Stanley get Oh, I got it! Code by sheer luck. Four, a four, two, eight, four, five. Bro, I guessed that, like... Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. So, a room full of boxes, there was one here. Okay, oh wait, no, we're just gonna come across Thing Room though, aren't we? There's not gonna be anything else down here. We're basically just playing the game as he wants me to. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown, unknown fate. fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be alright. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. To be fair, I don't think I've gotten the ending where I have Stanley the bucket with me. Stanley the bucket me. walk straight ahead through the large door <clears throat> of red mind control facility. No, see, if I go down there, that'll just kill me. Will it? Because, okay, so if I go through there... I'm trying to think. There's no nothing down there with that, I don't think. And I don't think there is either down here, Joe. I think you've just screwed it. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. They're <laughs> both. Nah, Bucket will be alright. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back, back on, on track. track. 
At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very a painful, painful death, death for, for each, each of them. them. I haven't been here at the Bucket, so it's fair. A red and blue room. This is only red, though. Yeah, it's not here. Oh, man. Why this joke is even down here? It's just like, bro. Bucket inch closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what I must Stanley be able to get on that platform, sort of right? Himself for wasting so much but I don't have a job. A bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. Here's boxes. It's red, but there's no blue. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above, above the rest. rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. <laughs> the bucket. Welcome... Uh, the bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the pre uh, precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is freakily empty within. A, a cavernous void? Cavernous void. But though use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and sustained. Knowledge of, of the bucket and its history is the only true... Wait, I don't have... I just realized I don't have the bucket now. <laughs> it's just like, how did I only just notice that? And its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were? In ignorance and darkness. Also, everything's. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short <laughs> life? Thanks, narrator. And things are blocked off for me now. This is a completely different exhibit. <laughs> this is but a, 25 buckets. A f photograph of 25 buckets. The greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced a uh, catanonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from the exposure to this many buckets at once. I, I, I think that's more than 25. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. A bucket with two handles. This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. Guys, I think we uh, I know what we got to do for a DIY project now. Inferno Bucket. A replica of the Inferno Bucket, which in the medieval era was so powerful... Uh, powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet, in spite of it all, the simple fact remains no one can control a bucket. It's made of wood, isn't it? No, it looks like it's made of wood. How's that? How's that like an inferno? I mean, we'll go up that way in a second. That's <laughs> a fucking tune. Cave drawing. While we know that buckets uh, predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long. 
This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. <laughs> this fucking game, man, I swear. No man can own a bucket. Hmm. And certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. The stress bucket, uh, an anal analogy. Worrying, negative forecasting, negative thinking, lack of assurance, uh, vulnerability, size and strength of the bucket, coping strategies equals holes, and then stress, the level of water in the bucket, uh, the stress bucket, presented without commentary, rest and relaxation, doing something you enjoy, rest and relaxation. Oh, so it was only up one that way, Joe. Okay, I guess we'll go this way. It's so weird that we've only started. I'm already finding so much new shit already, like. Bro, you gotta imagine there's something behind these. No, there's no red, Joe. I don't think the figure is gonna be in here. The hanging bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance inevitably is for our own good. Oh, am I just going to fall down the hole? Oh. <laughs> I just pick up the bucket. Is it going to just reload me now to there the There is set? something we can do. Something oh. we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Yes. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a... She said don't do this, but I'm gonna do this this time just to see what happens. I wonder if she'll cop on that I reset it back. Will she cop on and like actually try and interfere? Or did I just miss an ending there? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed Oh, him. that's it. Yeah, that's what the sign was. I didn't even read it properly. It's now the figurine finders committee meeting today in the meeting room. We're still to try and find things. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Kind of tempted to look up the other achievements. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to Okay, so entered the door on his left. A room full of boxes and a red and blue room. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps, perhaps it truly was. was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Oh, okay, so it is waiting, not going to do anything. I'm legit just waiting now just to see if something will happen. Truly, being here with the bucket <laughs> was a grand adventure. Stanley reflected on all they'd been through together. First, walking through the door on the right. Then walking to the lounge. <laughs> then arriving at the lounge. What a wow. Journey. Yeah, what, what a good journey. Inspired. Uh, and yes, by the way, if you're asking, cat ears are stuck on me until Perhaps six. This was where the bucket felt most truly at home. Here in the employee lounge. Perhaps it's the only place a bucket can even feel at home. I can't go back. It won't let me interact with the door. Stanley decided to just give the bucket absolutely as much time as it needed to be in the lounge. Clearly the bucket and the oh. employee <gasps> lounge I got off. shared a special connection. I can't believe I actually did this. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Right, back down we go. It's like, like glitching on top of things in Faz. That's another game I have to play on stream at some point. That'd be gas. Oh, I'm doing something to the vending machine. 
I'm standing in that little, like, hole just there. Nah, I can't bug it out at all. Uh, okay, I can't say. Like, if you if you want to see what happened at the start, yeah, you're, like, 29 minutes late. <laughs> but, like, it's all right, though. As I keep saying every stream, like, these uh, VODs get uploaded to YouTube anyway. But, yeah, no, I'll just recap this real quick. So, basically, when I started the game, it wanted me to set the time again. And I actually talked to um, a thing at the start of the game, or a person, uh, that's like, oh, yeah, keep quitting in and backing out, and, like, I'll, I'll tell you these bunch of things, and then I went in and out again and set the time properly again. It's like, you know what? You're the only guy that ever really sets the time right. Thank you for that. You know what? Next time you come into the game, I'll have a few sliders for you for questions. And I did that, and then eventually it's like, okay, there's nothing else I can do with you now. Next time you boot up the game, I can't, like talk to you anymore so maybe see you in a future day well not future day but i said see you later it's very depressing it's like <laughs> i literally just started the game and like it was so weird it's like th i'm already playing the game even though i'm not in the game like i didn't even have to click w a s or d yet but yeah then i went to the game uh i went to the left i got the um Female narrator to stop the thing from squishing me whilst having the bucket. Uh, bucket sacrificed itself, apparently, even though, like, we both kind of, well, nearly got squished. But as I walked towards the museum thing, but the bucket just disappeared from my hand. And then it was just, like, a tribute to the bucket. And now I'm going through this again. She was going to say, oh, Stanley, you kill yourself and let the bucket live. But I was like, no, restart. And she hasn't said anything since, so, yeah. Maybe I should have gone left again, actually. That doesn't matter. We're already going this way. The bucket was done being in the lounge, and they took the first open door on their left to get back to business. A room full of... Oh, yeah, wait, a room full of boxes. Hold on, I might actually have to go in here. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. I'm also looking for the um, figurines as well. Have I... Yeah, no, I haven't really been down that lift much, have I? There's no... nothing in here. I know if I go down there, I'm gonna read the whiteboards like a room full of boxes which I've already tried just here now. Oh, that's why I was going right, because I want to go into the storage area to see thing, but it doesn't matter. We can always see where that blue and red room is, so... Yeah, fuck it, let's go down here. I, I don't think I've gone down here much. I think, like, I've used this elevator, like, once. Yeah, it's still weird to think, oh, like... Stanley, oh. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. Oh, what? Can I go back up? Nope, the, the, the arrow is only down, Joe. <laughs> and there's a line see, on the ground. Your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. I don't know, I have but to see you another day. Around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first <laughs> game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their the favorite, favorite jokes, jokes. Not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. <laughs> Don't you want another story involving the Adventure Line? We could make the Adventure Line go somewhere new. Oh. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Wait, who's driving the truck? Bro, what? Like, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Oh my god, wait. Oh no, it's something assets. Raw assets? I thought that was the Steam reviews again. Can I go through the bloom broom closet? <gasps> I can. Okay, never mind. There's nothing here. Or is there? It's like fucking Monsters, Inc. You keep opening and closing the door and a monster will appear. Okay, it's, nothing's gonna happen, Joe. Hello, my wife. How are you doing? My computer that never does anything. The thingy room with all the monitors. The left and right door. The interrogation room with the phone? 
No, the phone's not there, though. It looks like it, though. There's the baby. <laughs> the baby. Oh, the... <laughs> look at that! <laughs> look at that perspective. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what happens when you turn up your field of view. I guess I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, I literally have nowhere else to go. Um, To go there. To go where? Do you just mean, like, follow the line? Because I'm basically just going to follow the line right now. There's, like, nowhere else I can go. And I can't even drop the bucket either. Nah, can't drop it. Right. Let me just follow the line. So, room full of boxes, red and blue light. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Oh my god, this music. Have you... You have to use thing one and type no clip. Ah, no, nah, I won't bother. I won't bother doing that. Oh, wait. Raw assets. Engine import. Right, I guess we're just following the line now. I say that as I veer off course. Oh my god, we're back in the office now. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> what? It's, it's Wait. As classic now as it was back then. I never heard that Still line before. Fans, Stanley, let's give them more content exactly like this. But if okay, we we're in the portal that, room. You're going to have to give something up. Oh, is he talking about the bucket? He just wants me to give up the bucket now. Gotta try every door. Because I saw an achievement where it was like, click on a door five times. And I went on an adventure with that as well. Like, Well, that's close. I'm not going back that way. We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Bucket Destroyer? Oh. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley <laughs> True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Not really. I think you're going insane with power. Can you guess what the bucket destroyer does? Absolutely sure, not. You don't need me to spell it out for you. Yes, please spell it out for me. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. But, but, but what if I don't? No, just, just what if I don't? Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the Bucket Destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, <laughs> Literally, yeah. Why does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. <laughs> Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We no. can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that Jesus. damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans. No, want. mine. Ow, flashbanged again. <laughs> <laughs> Is this just the fucking bucket destroyer now? Just bucket flowing. destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you. Tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Okay, but like, are we dead? Think fast, Chuckle Nuts. 
Uh, every time the screen goes to white, I can only say flashbang because it reminds me of that meme. Oh, yeah, okay, we're starting from the start again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the right. We're going that way again, but this time we're going to destroy the bucket. I'm sorry, it has to be done. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket, bucket calling, calling to him, him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. <laughs> Stanley took the door on his left to go, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. I wonder if it is going to show that, like, thing place again or nah. I have to remember as well to come back here without I'm the bucket too. Your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. <laughs> the bucket isn't even from the original. I love how they're getting terrible. jealous it's over a fucking bucket, content. like. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want, they want more, more of their, their favorite, favorite jokes. jokes. Not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too, too much, much time, time with it. it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? Yeah, let's we do it right now. The adventure line goes somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's... Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes. I seriously have it's never heard that line. Back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more. I hope I get to hear that line like at this. some point. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. Aye, aye. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality <laughs> that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Yes. Wait, what if I can't actually put it in? Does. Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket. Oh, I, I can't. It, the machine when you're ready. It, it legit won't let me put it in. Stanley! Throw it! It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I, I, I'm I don't know what the boss, bucket I'm trying. It won't let me. Destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. I'm gonna keep trying until it explodes. How does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, Stanley, you please let go of the bucket, destroy, please, I beg. That its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance, nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet, certainly not. I wonder what sort of bucket destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. I'm trying. It won't let me. Hurry and... Okay, so it's just the same way. It's, it's not going to change that. Uh, okay, now I need to go this way without the bucket. All of his go down was the gone. elevator. What could it mean? What could it Stanley mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had. Sorry, bucket. You stay there this time. I really was thinking though they were going to allow you to throw there. came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee, employee lounge, lounge first, just, just to admire it. it. The lounge was sublime. A work of art, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. 
And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. <laughs> and got back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order uh, to get it's not back, down here anymore. On, uh, oh, it's this part. From here, it's um left. He's gonna close on me. Oh no, no, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? <laughs> it's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Yep, don't worry, I'm holding. Now, let's see, we let's went see. down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes, I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. And there's no other way, correct? Actually, let me just see first. No, no. Now, and then if I go through, wait a minute. What's the point of that door? I just, <laughs> wait, what's the point of that door if you just go down the stairs? It just leads to a brick wall. But wait. Yeah, that's brick and that, you know, I'll, I'll stop questioning it. Oh, we're back here. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um... <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. Oh, no, please, stop. this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. From the top. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay, I'm still leaving the bucket behind. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he simply missed. Oh wait, the bucket. Huh? Where's the bucket farther ahead? No, it's not here. When Stanley, wait, wait. Oh what? my God. No. I no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> it was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter which one of these I go through, it's all just a big maze. I mean, Joe, you're the one that said it yourself. It doesn't matter, like, it's a big maze. Wait, that looked different. No, it's not. Oh, it is! Oh, never mind. It just temporarily changed. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely... This is like the back rooms, honestly. ...over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Ugh. All of his wait, wait, all the balloons are gone as well. What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And, yep, straight to this room, and now there's no doors. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Yeah, we're missing the bucket, the balloons... And so much more. I swear there's like so many office like places we're missing as well. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. 
Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our Oh, steps. this is where we meet the lion, I think, for the first time. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. I do think it is correct. Do you correct. remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Yes, thank you. My second win. My second dub. And it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, oh. No. no. I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. Oh. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Restarting once again. There All you right. go. Oh wait, it's <laughs> the Stanley Parable 2 restart eventually. To make sure we don't get lost. I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? The fact that it's called the Stanley Parable Line 2 is actually kind of gas. They could have just left it as the Stanley Parable line, but like, nah, you know what? This, this is the second iteration. See? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination oh, just is inevitably called <laughs> into being? I think I did that last time as well. Of the nature of life itself. Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office. Is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. <laughs> got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, yeah, the music's back. Oh wait, a room full of boxes. Nah, never mind. Oh my god, this place again. It's gone. It's <laughs> just, I broke it. Plant. Wait. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. No. What if I actually don't? Wait. We're, what? we're back at the office? No. 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 Line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? Oh, wait. The story. Is any of this ringing a bell? Wait, yeah, we followed. The, okay, I think this way. Is it? Oh. oh <laughs> no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything oh, we've man. been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. <laughs> Restart. Oh, now it's just the Stanley Parable eventual line. You know what, Stanley? I still Aww. forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we I want to go this way, though. Story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Actually, now that I realize it, but the office isn't closed yet. Feels like the first time in ever the office doesn't close itself from behind. Now, 
Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. <laughs> Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. I am ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Wait a minute. Never thought about that. Yeah, actually, what if you just turn off the subtitles? What happens then? I never thought about that. He'll just turn himself back on. Oh, oh. oh, no, no. Okay, never mind. He'll still speak. Nah, okay, fine then. I thought for a second he was going, did you just turn me off? I'm like, no, definitely not. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Yes. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Yes. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Okay. Just walk in circles for a minute. <laughs> okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Do I have a choice? Nope, I don't have a choice. Oh, okay, there we go. The confusion ending. Oh, I think I, I got here in better time. The maintenance room end up in monitor room. Narrator restarts the game. That's what this two doors. Turn around. Turn monitor room. Four. Venture into an unexplored territory. Find the line again. Restarts the game. Forgets about previous restarts. Stanley attempts to play the story, but is prevented. Unable to go anywhere or do anything. Game restarts on its own. Sex restart, find the line again, begin oh, I Okay, wait, so I need this half. My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall. Hmm. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really No, it can't be. I d I don't want it to be. I so I he has to restart, restart the game. I don't want to forget what's going on. And then he forgets. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't. Just gonna save it. a screenshot of it just it. in case. And the timer to stopped. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that Previous made this restart. schedule. Previous restart. Plans to play a story but is prevented, unable to go anywhere or do anything. The game restarts on its own. Happen? Find a line again, begin following the line. Find an identical replica sure. of the office that has begun to deteriorate. Okay. Make to attempt to make up a story here. Narrator restarts know, the game. I suppose in some Seventh way, restart, there's no longer an office. Story. Simply black space. Wander in the I'm blackness. Sure find a bookstore. Get bored and leave. Narrator restarts the game. Eight restart. The narrator is gone after a long time. Stanley dies. we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Okay, there's the restart. He's gonna forget everything that's happened, and I need to be... I'm gonna be stuck. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. No. No, the orders were still missing. For now. Okay. Wait, that's different dialogue, though. What the fuck? I don't think I've heard that before. And we're in the second version of the game, because we have to get well someday. I'll leave Bucket behind. This one I need to do on my own. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. my achievements or not achievements I oh, guess Joe you're gonna be able to read that where
I'm so confused. How do I even see things screenshots? I'm I'm dead confused. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I know what anyway to do. Well, not really, actually. Mm, okay, so thing restarts. I'm meant to be stuck, but I'm not stuck, so... Uh, office time? This is still here. Must be appointed. Is this some kind of game? Gotta collect them all. Somewhere both red and blue. A large room. So yeah, a large room, lots of boxes. I still haven't gone that way yet, like. Oh no, oh no 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not coming to a staircase. <laughs> Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh no no I don't want to go in there. That that's a, that's just a game end. Yeah, you know, fuck it. Let's just let's just do the original first way I played the game. Let's just do it. Two six Stepping four. Stepping into his manager's five? office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unravelled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Uh, that kind of anxiety sorry. isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <laughs> this is new as well. 2845. I'm never going to remember it. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. So yeah, wait, what happens if I try to do the game now? Loading. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, honestly. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought, thought to himself. himself. Did he have the strength, strength to, to find out? out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stand Still haven't figured out like how the lives this works. So many I never looked the numbers enough. Because some one of them places are fired and someone is glitched. Two, three, four is glitched. One in the four is fired. Six hundred and one is fired. Hmm. Two, three, four. I have to remember that if this I ever see two, three, four. Facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason? The, honestly, the way this elevator works kind of reminds me of Portal. I'm not gonna lie. Manipulated to accept it blindly. The way it assembles itself. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His yes. own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machine. <laughs> you can play what? I do not know what play M means unless you just uh, accidentally typed M at the end. 
blackness. Yeah, if I ever bother. Rising chill of uncertainty. Cause I, I'm not really feeling it right now to actually download it and shit. Yes, he had won. I have won. Defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from. I think this took me like command. under Freedom half an hour, to get maybe twenty away. minutes, maybe under twenty minutes yet, to get this first even ending. As the immense door slowly opened. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries? Oh yeah, I, the machine's grasp. Um, but as some the narrator's the one that let me out for some reason. None of this mattered to him. And it was not knowledge or even power that he had I still don't know where everyone's gone. But I think it's just all a part of the story. His goal had not been to understand, but, but to, to let, let go. go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was I might need to look up where the, the figurines are. Knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Can I, can I, let, 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 there you go. I'm Stanley stepping through felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of Stanley, can you have a big look behind you? Like, what's behind me? The new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. And that's it, isn't it? There's nothing else to that. Have I done this with the bucket, though? <laughs> it's just like, I'm just thinking now of every possibility. Even though we couldn't destroy the bucket, but we could still pick up the bucket and bring it to the end with How us. Wonderful. Stanley was alone. I want an excuse Finally. to keep playing, because I don't want to just go straight to just Stanley looking up the, the where the figurines are. I want to see how much I can figure out on my own. Not with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his and left. Actually, is there any more hints in here? The <laughs> C dot dot slash clue slash my clue dot JPEG. Artist rendition. Help. <laughs> Help, I'm a postis. I can't tell where the others are. I could just tell the ones in the toilet, which I already picked up. This one's the same. To whom it may concern, I managed to pick up sounds unusual to our regular office ambiences or local audio sources using an array of cardioid microphones, also known as directional mic, a microphone which picks up sound from a particular area. Analysis of the recordings allow me to triangulate the source of the strange noises data shows that in all likelihood, it's coming from a dark area behind a war very warm place. I also picked up what looks to be reverberance off a porcelain surface. Anyone have any ideas? Porcelain surface. Because they probably tell you in here. Weird spinning figures. What do they want? Our data, stock, options, money. Should we... Make them something, maybe, yes. Or make them interns. Why do they kind of look like two, 427? <laughs> Artist rendition, employee, uh, why flowing? Magic are quarterly success. Magnets, training exercise by magnetism. Management, dreams. Ideas. 1516, another number which I think is 5 that's scribbled and 7 that's scribbled. How many are there? Oh no, so it's telling me there's 6, and I know there's 6 anyway. <laughs> Can we sell them? More dollars if sold together. Uh, obviously. Sell one in cargo room. Employ 421 building a bridge. Uh, ideas. Do we need contracts for them? NDA, non disclosure agreement. Uh, Potential liability bonus stuff what we know what we forgot what we don't know yet So yeah, I keep forgetting that I need to go to that place, but first we'll do this ending with the bucket 
Trust the completionist instinct. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless to be honest. Warehouse access plan. Produce one plank to allow use of access past fence. Construct bridge to allow collection of shiny flow. Retrieve Chris's remains from the warehouse floor. Construct new structured sound bridge. Okay, red dot. Stop kidding yourselves. Who are you? 666 lol. There will be cleaning of this wall required. There will be a reward for finding them all. Lies. Wow, I think that's the first time I've read the whole room. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. To the boss's office. 245 Stepping eight. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional Five? dumpster fire, but Stanley guessed the correct code by oh, the mark. Was it the bucket knew all along? Yes, was it was the, the bucket. bucket. All the bucket. Now, it's never me. Yes. This is certainly the like, all the rest of my brain cells are stuck in this bucket. That's why I carry it with me. My head only contains two brain cells. That's how it works, bro. And then a third one pops in every so often gives me a brilliant idea and it works really well. I praise the third brain Stanley cell. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control, control facility. facility. See, I'm assuming this is just going to be the same shit, actually, now that I think about it. But I still want to do it anyway. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. So, next What horrible go... secret did this place hold? Stanley right. and the bucket both yeah, wondered that way, to themselves. Joe. After this turn, go right door and go down that way. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone <laughs> in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst, <laughs> very tears, burst into Stanley tears. Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Wait. Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds oh, okay. of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. <laughs> At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power. There must be a secret in here as well. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up, up against, against the, the world. world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket <laughs> made a sassy comment about taking down the system. <laughs> oh. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it, was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley oh, wanted yo. to sneeze in every country on Earth. Uh, what? Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. That's weird. It's true, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and... Wait, what? What? Wait. What was happening? 
Why had the door stopped? Oh no. Wait. Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Ah. Oh. The facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence. <laughs> needed the soothing warmth of the bucket to go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. <laughs> as long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Oh, still walking. Oh, never mind. I'm not walking anymore. Uh, okay. You know, actually, that's a lot different than I thought it was going to play out. I didn't think the doors were just going to close again. All of this oh, but man, do I go right or left? Because I kind of thought Stanley of another thing I could do on the, the left. Meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The Screw it. Bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I love the jingle every time I walk in this room. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. Wait, you what? You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now. <laughs> you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom <laughs> closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley. I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? Bruh. That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an <laughs> even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Ah. Uh, I don't think I can do anything. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. The okay. property of Stanley. Now settled. No more debate, no more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. <laughs> Oh, okay, All I'm right. I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. <laughs> I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Oh, it's a bucket. <laughs> there really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Okay, do I wait or... Like, do I walk in and out again like this? You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be it, honest, it's always I'm been sick silence. of the pettiness on display. 
You can stay here Talented. all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever <laughs> seen. In. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. I just heard a click sound. Okay, are we, are we done now? I think we're done. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Is anything changed in here? Knows what the oh, because the boss knows what the boss says goes. If the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Okay. Lovely reflection as per normal in any kind of video game. 2845. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical, logical explanation. explanation. Right, I swear, it, there has to just be like, this one where the facility is about to explode, and then there's that other way I want to try and see if I can find another Stanley figure before maybe just leaving it there and moving on to another game. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large Mainly door portal. of the red mind control facility. Wait, if I tried to... No... Yeah, no, if I tried to leave now, I'm just thinking, right, if I left now with the bucket that says property of Stanley, I'm so, bro, I'm actually, no, don't do this to me, don't make me replay this, look, Joe, do this, go to the right, if you can't find another figure, leave it, alright, just watch somebody else do it instead, like, you don't need to go through every single, like, branch of story in the game. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been oh wait! Things, if the building likes this bucket so much, it won't explode, right? No way, wait. Now I'm actually really curious. I hope it doesn't start the countdown sequence to explode. I need to see no! this now. He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Never. He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one. Except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart but of the here operation. Was the proof. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery. But at the last second. The bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. The bucket Stanley did that? gasped in horror. Bucket! Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? <laughs> Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Oh, it's different. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Uh <laughs> What? Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned Penguins. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind what? controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? 
Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands. The one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Oh, it's going back to start now. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here. <laughs> living through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all Man, the I didn't think they'd include Dolan Dark in the game. game. That's mad. This one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. I guess we just keep looking. Yep. That, okay, that's it. <laughs> just oh, that was weird. Oh, it's different again. The office changed. The narrator's not speaking. Hey, Bucky, you come with me. Today, oh, there, there, there he is. Stanley just oh, we're, we've gone straight they here. Together would be perfectly fine with him. Two. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door. Oh, it's still property of me as well. Let's go. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling, calling to, to him, him, telling him that the, the employee, employee lounge, lounge was, was simply, simply the place to be. And here it, here it was. was. Had the bucket uh, turned out to be correct? correct? No, 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 no never mind. mind. The, the bucket, bucket was, was wrong. wrong. Stanley took the door on his left. To go back to the meeting room. Oh, there's a balloon in here. No, well. said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere <laughs> else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo. Ah! Lift. Found it. Finally, Joe, you've listened to yourself. How is this stable? You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be it. <laughs> There'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now, we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Actually, yeah, that's virtually impossible for me in the game to do that. So I... Oh, there's a vent. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm falling. Where have I fallen to? Oh, what? Oh, another different way? There, there's no way. Have I been? No, there's no way I haven't been here. Okay, cassette tapes all over the place. Okay, Joe, this is in the red and blue room. You don't have to look around. But, I mean, I guess you might as well look around whilst you're at it. Oh, I, okay. I didn't actually think that would work. Okay. This is day number 290. Oh, I think this is when day he says number. it. I don't even know. I've lost track. Study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... Is everything desaturating? What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Yes. <laughs> it's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? Caporata.
Okay. Uh, uh, oh. Okay, that happened. And now I have a meeting flyer in the, this room as well. Has my desk gotten bigger? It feels like it has. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Wait, somebody's following me? Ha! Ah. Bucket, please. I actually need you this time. A strong bucket. A humble bucket. A committed bucket. A bucket of culture and distinction. I don't know if I'm being lied to. I think I hear something behind me. Why would he just say there's something behind me? Don't do that. Okay, so... I'm trying to think then. Where the hell... How do I even get to somewhere that's red and blue? Because all I can think about is the red and blue door choice, but I can't even remember how to get there. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Well, that's how you need to turn a red light on in here. Was this no? Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. So I'm actually kind of curious to see if there's anything else there, but I don't think there is. I think it's literally just like that vent, and then that's it. Right, um... I haven't been that way in a while. I can't remember what. Th Actually, maybe that would be a way, right? Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley There's something up there I need you to do. This bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Oh, there's no narration. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says oh. no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this <laughs> point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness. I think we have to do something about Don't play it. a video. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly. Oh, I need to, so if I restart I need to leave the bucket the behind. Is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please step in here for a moment. That's not dark and ominous at all. Oh, we're loading. Oh my god, it is. Oh wait, it's a game show! I'm going to run you through some test is it? Scenarios yeah, it's a game show. Tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. <laughs> Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is, is not, not a, bucket. a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item one. Is this a bucket? I could choose both, I think. Oh, well, I, I can choose one Incorrect. to do it. Wait, what? It's a hologram of a bucket, not an actual. Uh, 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 no proof. Show me proof. Item two. Is this a bucket? Do what? It. it is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not uh, an but actual. But it's, it's still, it's still a bucket when you 3D print it. Ah, here, Item come on. Three. Is this a bucket? 
No, screw this, I'm out. Okay, okay fine, I'll just say yes. Correct. Finally! This is a bucket. Item four. Is this a bucket? You know, fuck it, yes, it is. That's a bucket too. Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. To think they have an asset of the tractor in this game just for this one moment, like, oh my god. Is this a bucket? You know, fine, I'll say no this time. Bruh, now it's yes! This is a bucket. Oh, and you're not gonna even- It's not even gonna explain why it's a bucket. Okay, cool. Item six. Is this a bucket? The other buckets weren't, so yes. Trick question. Both. both. Gotcha. Uh, why both, though? He's not telling me why I'm right or wrong. Item Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. There's nothing here. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. Unless, is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. <laughs> I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now, I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay. Here we go. I can't even choose. What happened? Is everything gone? That means everything if everything disappeared, if everything disappeared everything was a bucket. a bucket. Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I am not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. <laughs> yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And yeah. we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. <laughs> that is what that information might do to a person. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're good. Yep, the office is normal. And there's still... Okay, so I need to go this way without the bucket this time. I'm sorry, bucket. I've got to leave you behind. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge but first, just, just to, to admire, admire it. it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. So I but need Stanley to go onto the catwalk and see if I can go forward here. from there. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust, trust in, in someone, someone else can, can be difficult, difficult. But the fact, the fact is, is that the story, story has been about nothing, nothing but you all this time. time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Let me prove it. Let me prove that. Was that always there? Side. 
Give me a chance. Like, I know I was there last time. Was that? The oh, this here it is. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. And there it is. The last Stigly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. <laughs> so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements. You've insisted that a job well done is its oh, own reward. Lord. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Uh, I'm gonna go through red. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? <laughs> I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Oh, they're both open. Are we good? Are we loading? Oh. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? The yeah. fuck? Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, Right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel... The light happy. boundary! <laughs> Rika was right all along. There is a light boundary. I think it's called. Can't remember what they called it in the anime. God, this is fucking with my eyes. I don't know why. Just looking directly at it, like... No, but man, it's, oh yeah, I didn't even mention, I read an achievement, it's like, play the game on a Tuesday, like, for the entirety of a Tuesday. <laughs> it, 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 hold on, I'm going to bring that up whilst this light show is on. Where is it? Here it is, commitment, play the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. Complete the Stanley Parable in under 4 minutes and 22 seconds. Set all the settings sliders in the menu to all available numbers. Don't play the Stanley Parable for t for 10 years! Jeez. They changed that one. It used to be 5 and now they've just changed it because it's the Ultra Deluxe like. That would mean that I'd have to pick up the game again in 2032, assuming that I'm actually still alive and well, like. Not to say there's something wrong with me, it's just like, it doesn't feel like anything, like, I'll even, even still have things by then. I'll probably, hopefully, have a family by then, like. Be like, ah, oh, kids, look at this game. Look, let me show you something. Dad, d did you just get an achievement? Ah, yes, my son. That is because I left this game for 10 years. Okay, can I just leave now? Oh, I can. No, wait. Where are you going? Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Don't worry, I'm not gonna die. It's very like Please no Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. <laughs> well, I guess I'm killing myself. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, uh, let's go back to room. Let's see if he changes or says anything if I go back. Why all this effort though to just jump off? And how am I only finding this now? That's a drawing, a kid's drawing to be particular. Maybe I do have a family. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. 
It's <laughs> just like, okay, fine, I'll just go back again. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. So wait, can I just keep going in and out of the room and it'll say something? Are you you are going to stay here, aren't you? No. I'm just getting you to like trigger your dialogue. Oh, he's not saying anything now. He's just sick of me just going in you and out. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? <laughs> it's funny just fucking around with him, honestly. I wish there were stars right above. That would make this the best place ever. I don't know what they're using for this, but it's cool, like... Imagine no clipping out of the map and seeing the whole game. It's like, that'd be weird. You just see, like, this little sparkly section and it's like, what? Alright. Sorry, narrator. Looks like this is the only way out. You wrote in the game before about me dying, so... How about I choose, like, last time? Like, at the start of the game. No! Oh. Thank God. You lived. Oh, I'm slower. Let me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Wait, hold on. Let me stop moving then. Does anything happen if I just stop moving? Potentially. Maybe. Probably not, Joe. I don't think so. Let's get out of here. I'm guessing I have to jump off again and then I can die or something. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Okay, I'll do what you say for now. I, I like the way he could close that door at any time, but he's not bothered, like... Probably the first time in a while in a choice game no. that I bothered to no, go no. like what are you doing? play the Steve, game over just and not over. Believe me? What can I say to convince you? Tell me what the figurines are for. I won't jump if you tell me. Ow. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? I think I'm limping now. Yes. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? <laughs> I just love the way it's just the backwards and forwards until I actually split my knees open. Like No, perhaps not. I'm sorry, narrator. I have to see this through. I didn't think there was so much... Like, content I still haven't, like, looked at yet. Hopefully when I go back to the figurine oh room, like... Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Damn, I actually feel bad for him. Jumps anyway. Oh, Maybe wow. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along, but I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. I really do feel bad for him, but nothing's going to happen if I stay in that room, unless I have to stay in there for hours or something. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Ah. That was a sad ending, honestly. Right, we need to go to the meeting room. Oh, uh, never mind. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines. 
Oh yeah. Lives. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. <laughs> Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? Oh. I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Just one more time. Okay. Haven't been here in a while. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. <laughs> oh my god. The memory zone. Oh, we're just going straight down, I guess. Wait, is there anything else different? I don't think so. Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Uh... Wait, what do you mean seven? Oh no. What have I done? I've collected another one. Oh, here's the next one in the bathroom. And here was a second Stan the Reen. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. <laughs> I've got eight now. <laughs> Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Under the stairs. I do believe it was anyway. There it is. No, 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 no. Under the stairs was the fourth place you found a fig and me. Oh, the third. So sorry. Well, I guess perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Memories like these are so precious and so cherished that they all just sort of blend together, don't they? You know, yeah. if under the stairs feels like the third place you found a collectible, then who am I to go making judgments? <laughs> Nine of six. So are we gonna go to the third place Let's one? See. What came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. We didn't. Well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone. Oh my god! So it must have happened. The room is pink, and there's an apple. Nah, is this referencing pink ladies, like apples or something? Because like, what other reference is this? I've literally never seen this room in my life. Oh, is this? Yeah, no, I this found the a fifth, fifth one. Yeah, stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the well. Oh. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate oh my gosh. the occasion. Enjoy. <laughs> No, you can't actually throw this in. No, <laughs> they literally use Windows Movie Maker for this as well. Oh my god, why are they recording on Fraps? You found it near the cargo lift. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Press the direct. I used to fucking do this as well. I swear I had a video where I did something like that. I didn't have a copyright though. Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. That was a good video, the narrator. You should consider making a YouTube channel. And then become a streamer in the future. Uh, in the last room. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. 
This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. I have 12 of 6 now. Okay, lovely. Ah, oh, they, they both lead the same way. I love when they do that. It's so gross. What have we got now? You are in the present. The past. Oh. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. You are in the past. Oh, wait. On the screen it says you are in the past. The future. Goodbye, memory zone. No, wait. I wasn't done. I wanted to look at thing to see if that would say like uh, future. No, no, no! I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. <laughs> some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines. Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. I, again, I love how like when you look through the screens, it's like different. It's like you are in the past, and it says there you are in the present. Wait, the plant. Narrator, are you going to make a comment on the plant that's now kind of wilting? Can't even get water. I guess we'll go backwards. Oh, maybe I can go into that other room then and get that okay, spare yes, figure. The room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. Oh my god. No. I have to keep collecting the figures over and over, do I? There should have been an achievement called Collect All the Figures. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, I love that. Video. I love it as well. It's such a good video. I hope they uploaded that to like official YouTube channel or something, because a lot of people would love to watch that over and over. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room though, a solid room. This room creeps me out, honestly. Oh, I can't even go up the These stairs. really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. 16 out of 6. You know how it do be. Oh, wait. Can I go down now? I can. So I could either go backwards to collect the boss's bathroom one, or I could go to boss's office. Oh, it's blacked out, isn't it? Oh, I can't. Oh, man. Okay, maybe if I got it right in the first place, it wouldn't have happened. Oh, well. Maybe on the way back we can. He'll probably ask me again. Okay, Stanley, I know you know this, but please tell me which one it was. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. And then this. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Can we even go through the exit? Oh. Collect them all. You can find them. You can find them. You can find them. You can find them. Oh, wow. This is what comes after this. <gasps> the circle! Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. Oh god, we're just gonna reset the whole game at this point, like... Oh my oh, god. Yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Oh, and they're both, the, yeah, they both lead the same way. 
Oh, in the office. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Oh? Oh, is it the cutscene for the start of the game? Yes. I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy. And I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But ah, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take mm -hmm. care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling this story so very much. Okay, here we go. This <laughs> is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, so wait, is it literally just looped back to the very beginning? Okay, we're still in two. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? This is different. Did something crucial happened while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Oh, ah, I did you. The embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the button oh, tightly left. to his chest and entered the door on his left. I want to go to the office this time. Oh wait, is this all? Oh, it's back to normal now. Stanley needed what? The warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh man. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have no remaining stick. <laughs> if I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. Mine. Okay, fine, I'll leave. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Wait, is the figure back in here for some reason? No. Money in the morning, money in the evening. No, it's gone back. It's the same now. But I'm assuming when I finish the game now, though, he's going to actually retire me. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Okay, yeah, there's no figure around here. I'm gonna just, I guess, like... I'm gonna do the turn on the mind control thing and just see what happens from there. I'm assuming something will change and then maybe I'll actually leave it there. Um, Stanley and the bucket I might keep playing the something else the red mind control facility. Because obviously there is actually just so many times I can listen to the same dialogue before I just want to watch Lights others play the game. On an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. Oh, man, I'm still stuffed from earlier. I just, I ate fucking a wrap and a fucking sandwich like earlier before starting the stream. 
The monitors jumped to life. I felt so greedy because it just went after another as well. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like a guinea pig. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. And I could never the hope to write the in the way this game writes. It's just so well. clever and Had it's just so well done. Told to do things, it didn't wish to do. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the, the operation. operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would... But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in, in horror. horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all Hold along? On. To take over the machine and claim the power Actually, I should itself? be able to leave this for a second. How could Just the give bucket me a second. Be like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly. Silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. <laughs> it was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all, all over, over the, the world. world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hand, <laughs> the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here, here in, in this place, place, living through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was, was happy. happy. And end. Right, what's going to happen after this then? Does it just restart? Oh, it just restarts. I thought for I thought the narrator was gonna be like, okay, lol, you're done now. Uh, we're gonna just close everything. I guess not. Wait, Stanley thought to himself, am I sure that the orders? Yeah, no, this is in? thing. How is that possible? Hmm. They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Oh yeah, no, I already checked things. So the office is still when back to Stanley normal, isn't it? If the office is normal, that's where I'll leave this right and now. Left. And then maybe at some point in time I'll come back in if I want to learn the secrets. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's not any different now. Okay, grand. I think I've played the game all that I can. There's not much else I could really do in it without like slamming my head against things. I was surprised I even figured out at the end like how to get all the figurines, honestly. Ugh. Right, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quit the menu. Wait. We have an epilogue option. So we have an epilogue. I, I was literally about to quit, but I was like, wait, what's epilogue? And they light it up as well, so like... Hold on.
Oh, he was saying that he wanted to add an epilogue to the game. Many, many years later. Oh! Wait, what? We're back here? Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Okay, I guess now we're in the middle of the desert. I'm not stopping yet until we do, do this now. I was literally just about to say, okay, let's go back to Portal Reloaded and see if I can complete that, but... Oh, okay. Oh! Nice, lovely fire. Like, deserts are extremely cold at night. It's, like, ridiculously cold. Wait, can I leave, though? I just want to keep going. Oh. Oh, wow, okay. We're going through the storms now. We have office chairs everywhere. I haven't seen any other office equipment yet, though. Hey, you can tell the music is loud for me because I've just raised my voice a bit. <laughs> I should have refilled my like flask of water when I had the chance. Yeah, shit, it's all out. It's weird to think it's almost July. I've almost like on the fifteenth of July. That's when I've been streaming for two months in a row without stopping. If I do, obviously, continue to stream every single day. I've thought about it, but I'm like, ah, you know what, I'll go on holiday first and at least have to streak up to there. Oh, we're returning back to this. <laughs> to the memory zone. And the narrator is like long dead, probably, maybe. You're telling me I can die from jumping off a thing once, but I can't, like, die when I'm out in the desert with nothing. The Stanley Parable 2. Oh, in losing memory. In loving memory, sorry, of the Stanley Parable 2. Man, what? Just, again, when I was just about to leave the game... Then they show me this, like. The only thing that's lit in the room, Joe. Cookie9's blog <laughs> on compromising gaming content. Reviewed the Stanley Parable 2. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how true disappointed I am with its sequel. Where the first game teamed with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fan base. Rather than expanding on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into territory nobody asked for. An infinite deep hole? Who cares? Where are the new endings? What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the adventure line? Instead, we get an uninspired side quest collecting figurines. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. I must say, though, I found the bucket to be quite comforting. A welcome... Uh, Reprive from dot dot dot. Okay, wait, let's see what all the other recent posts were. Stanley Parable 2, sorry I haven't been blogging much. Review SNARF3, projected posts, Cookies Corner, we need to talk about sequels. Uh, Go Guy Review, thing, <laughs> Piss Order 0999, uh, Boblin, Boblin again. Uh, go guy. And then there's archives from September, maybe even August 2012. Or, yeah, 2012. So before the Stanley Parable came out. Cat dog born. <laughs> That's cool. The one review that remains in all of this, I'm assuming. Oh, never mind, there's more. Buttons. <gasps> Name buttons! Can I press them? <gasps> Let's go! We got the name buttons back. Stanley Parable developers, no more spin-offs, no more sequels. When the Stanley Parable launched as, uh, to massive success in 2013, its creators made plans 
to build the property into an entire franchise, but a disastrous critical and commercial reception of the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to rethink their ambitions. As outlined in the in a press release they published today, it's clear that more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want, uh, reads the press release. We thought that we had a vision for the series that players would be excited about, yet it turns out this could uh, not have been further from the truth. The press release goes on to promise to preserve the artistic integrity of the original game and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word sorry appears more than 25 times in the press release. Oh man. Oh, it, it, oh yeah, you just go around the rock, Joe. It's not any different, like. <gasps> it's Tang. Oh, it's more gym buttons. Gym. 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 I love the way there's just corners of the gym buttons, like. Maybe if you press one of them, it'll say a different name. Or it'll actually say your Steam name or something. <gasps> the figures! That all? Twenty six. Oh wow. Oh wait, I oh I didn't even mean to do that. I thought I was gonna look around the room more. Oh it's the guy from the start before we even played the game. Hello again, it's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not scared. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't mistake, make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. In fact, let me show you. Together, we are going to make this deadly parable three. It's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also really need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead. Try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. Okay, so employee of the ice cream. Wait, can I keep clicking it? The ice cream grilled. No, grilled ice cream. Wait, employee of the ice cream. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Stanley Parable 3. Employee of the ice cream. It's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll adv advance the number of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end, and nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll just be the same content recycled again and again and again with the, a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I, I like it, but I want you to have all the say as well. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Good, then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And do you know what? Since you've put fate in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. Alright, there. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. Uh, we're in this together. I didn't get the achievement. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only... Uh, yeah, it can only spiral on it in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. Well, man, we've been going at this for hours now. Um, oh, wait. What am I doing? 2.44. Oh, wrong way. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, why is there a car? You are playing the Stanley Parable 3, Employee of the Ice Cream. So I can click epilogue again or begin the game. Okay, you know what? Fine, we'll begin the game just to see if that changes anything. I don't think it will. This is the story. No, okay, so we're just going back in here. The sequel is now paused. It's not red anymore. Which means we've... Wow. God, this is... Ugh. Okay, now we can stop. <laughs> stop here, Joe. Do not let it control you. Stop it right now whilst you have the chance. Okay, quit a menu.